Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. You're not a politician. You are not a greedy person. You are God. And every time you draw us to your presence, it is because you desire to change our lives. We have declared that we will make that move. Lord, we pray for understanding. Cry unto God and say, Lord, give me understanding. Give me understanding. The Bible says the entrance of thy word giveth light and even understanding to the simple. Shabra toka sobrati Lord, we believe you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understanding is a spirit. Isaiah 11 is one of the manifestations, the sevenfold manifestations of the Spirit of God. The Bible says, and open he their understanding that they might understand the scripture. I'd like you to pray in one minute. And say, Lord, impart upon me the spirit of understanding. The spirit of understanding. Are you praying? The spirit of understanding. Kaba toka soda balada. She brought a sila pro hata garoto suprendi di baratish nelanaba. Impart upon me the spirit of understanding. Hallelujah. One more prayer point and then we'll sit down. What we're, we're taking a series on faith. I consider this to be a very important series. God is going to be opening our eyes, showing us why things may not be working and what the key will be. I'd like you to pray and say, Father, the missing link in my life, as far as the manifestation of faith is concerned, in this series, open my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be casual, pray koinonia. The missing link. The missing link. I admit I may be doing something inaccurately. Show me. Show me. Sabarato kaparadada. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you and good evening. Please sit down. We have a lot to do tonight. We are beginning a series on faith. We are beginning a series on faith and I really want us to pay attention and trust the Lord to bless us. Praise the Lord. The series will last all through the month and um, the goal of this course is to help us understand for some of us for the first time you'll be realizing how faith truly works and then for many of us it will be a reaffirmation and an upgrade on our understanding of faith. Hallelujah. It's important once and again that we remind ourselves of these principles upon which results are produced in the kingdom. He says, I will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things, although ye already know them and are established in this present truth. There are basically three aspects. Let's put the, I'll call it the course content. Just put it down quickly. Just three of them. Number one, we're going to be looking at the character of the word of God slash discerning the will of God the character of the word of God slash discerning the will of God that's what we'll be looking at today and then next week we are going to be looking at the dynamics of faith the dynamics of faith we're going to be looking at the inner workings how it really works
And then finally, sustainable faith. Sustainable faith. Faith that can take you from prophecy to manifestation. Part of the things we're going to be um, explaining are what I call faith boosters. The keys that keep your faith alive and powerful. We're going to be considering certain mysteries like the power of your seed in keeping your faith alive. The power of praise. The power of thanksgiving. The power of partnership. Bible says if any two shall agree together as touching anything. So it's going to be an interesting series. Let's go straight to the business of the night. Why faith? Why do we need faith in our lives? The Bible clearly tells us how that our walk is a faith walk from Genesis right to Revelation. We see that all those who were able to command results in their generation did so by faith. We are going to Hebrews shortly. But before that, I want us to look at two scriptures. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Why faith? Why do we need to talk on the subject of faith? Can you help us, media? That is possible. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The B part is my verse of emphasis. And let's work with King James. It says, Behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Read on the B part. One to read. But the just shall live by his faith. So the subject of faith is not just a subject of prosperity or breakthrough. That you're living both in terms of the continuity of your breath and the quality of your life according to scripture. Four times interestingly in the Bible, four times the Bible emphasizes that the just shall live by his faith. We'll just look at two scriptures. This is one Habakkuk chapter 2. It says, but the just shall live by... In fact, he didn't just say faith. He said his faith. His faith. So we see that faith is necessary for both living and living victoriously. You may want to write that down. Faith is necessary for both living and living victoriously you cannot live a victorious life in this kingdom outside of the operation of faith hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 there are four but we'll just look at one for the sake of time let's do that quickly please hebrews 1038 just the a part it says now the just when will the just live by faith when will he live by faith it says now the just shall live by faith then it says but if any man draw back back to what back from this principle of living it says my soul shall have no pleasure in him a very classical rendition of this was given to us in Hebrews chapter 11. We're going to read it further when we read verse 6. The Bible tells us, just give us verse 6, but we'll later on start verse 1. Hebrews 11 chapter and verse 6, please help us. I like you to read it. It's projected one to read. But without faith, uh-huh. Stop. That's what I want you to see. It was buttressing on Hebrews 10.38 that if any man draws back, my soul will not have pleasure in him. So it says, but without faith, that means outside of faith, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. So we see that the entire life of a believer revolves around faith. Now, many of us have had this teaching faith. We've had pastors. Some of us have taught it ourselves. But I think it's very important for us to settle down and really understand what faith is and how it works. We call all kinds of people men of faith. This person is a man of faith. What exactly is faith and how does it work? Seeing that the quality of our lives on earth is dependent on our understanding now listen please not our application of faith alone 
but our understanding of the same. You can apply something wrongly, dissipate so much energy, but it does not mean you are producing results. How many of you have seen cars that the exhaust has busted and, I mean, you hear the car coming so loud like a truck. You think it's a truck running without brakes and then you see a little bike or a little car. That's how many people's destinies are. There's a lot of noise. And then when you look, you find out that there's absolutely nothing. But there are cars that would even come and park you, not even know. That's cars that came intentionally. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. Prophesy to yourself. Yes, I'm on my way to better days. No matter what I see around me now, I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way. On my way. On my way. Hallelujah. So why faith? Hebrews chapter 11. It will be a long reading. It's an archive of men and women who demonstrated unto us the reality of faith. Let's read it. Please pay attention. We are studying the word of God tonight. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Verse 2. It says, For by it the elders obtain what? A good report. Next verse. Through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Now watch this. The Bible starts we see certain formations happening. The Bible gives us a character of faith. Then we see certain people mentioned called elders. Are we together? Then we see a formation that faith is able to form realities. And then we see the word of God coming into the picture. Now, I want you to study how these realities begin to piece themselves. Faith, substance, evidence, report or results. Are we together? understanding the word of God. You see these things piecing up together. Then the Bible says so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Verse 4. Let's see how far we can go. Now the first character in the Bible. The Bible calls them elders. Interestingly the first elder in the Bible is called who? Not Adam. Not Cain. This is, this is a teaching on its own. I'm telling you, I like enjoying myself when I talk about these things. Believe you me, I plan to do the same this night. By faith, Abel did what? Offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice by faith than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. So by faith, a man offered unto God a what? More excellent sacrifice. Is it not interesting that the first thing God uses to describe faith is giving? We are going to lions, but the Bible talks of offering a more excellent sacrifice. It takes faith to be a giver. Cain gave, but he was a miser. And God said the reason why he mised was he did not have faith. Are we together? It was out of faith that Abel took sacrifice as though that was all he had and gave unto God. 
meaning greed. Listen, selfishness of all sorts is traceable to what? Lack of faith. That at any point in a man's life, he is a withholder and not a giver. I don't mean money. A giver of anything. It is because of fear of the continuity of the supply. And the Bible says it's lack of faith. Number two, five. By faith, the second elder we see in the Bible is who? Now, Enoch was the seventh man from creation, theologically speaking. Enoch was the seventh man from creation. And then from Abel, he just jumps to Enoch and says, by faith, Enoch was what? Translated. 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 Kabarato satire. By faith, a man can leave a level to another. By faith. I know this is talking of translation out of this realm, but you need to understand what this meant. Enoch translated from one territory to another by faith. Like a man can leave poverty to wealth. Like a man can leave sickness. It says if you want to experience translation, it will happen how? By faith. That he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had a testimony. Notice how pleasing God is tied to faith. It seems like God's obsession is not just praise and worship. God's obsession is that he can find men who have faith in him. Every time you see the manifestation of faith, you see God smiling. The Bible gives you a picture that he's happy. He's well pleased. Number three. And without faith, it is what? Impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe. That he is. The word is there means he exists. He exists. And then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hear what the Bible says. For everyone that seeketh findeth. It's important we get this foundation. Seven. Let's see how far we go. By faith. Noah comes in now. Noah. Kalabakotaya. Be warned of God of things not seen as yet. When God was warning Noah, there was no evidence that those things were coming. The same way God is saying you will prosper and there is no evidence. But Noah moved in advance. He didn't wait to say, let me see a cloud first. He started building the ark when the sun was shining bright and Bible calls it faith. Now, I hope you... Those who did math, everybody did mathematics. Whether you like it or not. I'm not asking you whether you passed. I'm saying you did it. Are we together? Now listen. A good teacher does not give two examples and set examples. No. When they give you, especially a difficult aspect of mathematics, they give you as many examples. And those examples have variations of the way the underlying principles are applied. Is that true? Uh -huh. It's supposed to help you familiarize you with the different ways. This is what the Bible is doing. We're working maths here. Are we together? So the Bible begins to give you different people. Do you know everything the Bible is saying about them is the same? He's only using different human examples to show you different applications. How men maneuvered circumstances by faith. So by faith, Noah, being warned of God of things, not seen as yet, moved with fear. The word fear there is reverence. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house. 100 years it took Noah to build an ark. How many years have you waited for your miracle? Let me hear it please. Six months. And you're already saying, Lord, if by November, a man moved by faith for 100 years, how long do you have to live on earth to spend 100 years building an ark? I'm sure the children, when they gave birth to their children, they said, we, we grew up seeing our grandfather. What exactly is this project? And no one said, the rain will come. And the children said, well, I'm now a teenager. I, I believe the rain will come. And God kept watching and says, it was by faith. 
Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to break down faith for you to really understand. And then you will know that many people really do not believe in God. Many of you at the end of this teaching, you will tell God, I'm sorry. Because you will find out that you really should not receive a result. Amen. Next verse. By faith. Now Abraham comes in. I like the Bible. How many people now? Abel, help me. Enoch, uh huh. Noah, Abraham. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called out to go into a place, that means your destiny must be fulfilled by faith. God called a man. Are you seeing now? So we see by faith to do different things. Translation. Now we are seeing he's talking about destiny here. And inheritance. By faith. You are not the first person to graduate and wonder what to do with your life. There was a man in the awe of the Chaldeans. Awe of the Chaldeans called Abraham. And the Bible says when he was called to go out to a place which he should after receive an inheritance obeyed he says and he went out help me please that's the faith part of it not knowing whither he went go to lagos yes lord what are you doing in lagos obeying god you are stupid god what do you say you are a man of faith abraham don't turn there genesis 22 Genesis 12, come out of your father's house and out of your kindred and out of all of these. Listen, to a land that I will show you. No name, the assignment is follow me. And the Bible says, Abraham gathered his house and says, gentlemen, we're off. Let's go. May you surround people in your life who can let you obey God. Yeah. There are times, let me just say this in advance. There are times certain people will love you too much to allow you obey God especially for we young people because our parents many of them even those who were not born again walked by faith are we together the last time their father saw them was from one they used to call it from one the next time the person came he came with the lady he would marry a master's holder how he survived the father did not know one heavy box and a blessing don't drink don't follow women be hard working the god that kept me keep you enter a boat and go and the father had confidence that the boy will not die after eight years he now came back and said daddy god is faithful i now have a house a car how did it happen by faith but now you see someone of 30, they say, I think you should start settling. I say, hey, mommy, I will take it gently. Just buy me blanket, buy me sugar, buy me tea. Don't laugh. We have been so pampered that the system of faith is eroding our minds. So whenever we say faith, many people just laugh. That's the reason why there are very few people who really do much i'm not even talking ministry in the kingdom in our lives this over pampering are we together now auxiliary faith okay uncle i'll take the first step but make sure you are standing by look at what he told peter he said fear not jesus speaking it is i and peter said if it be thou bid me come jesus said come faith faith Let's read to verse 10. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs of him, with him of the same promise. Uh -huh. For he looked for a city whose builder and maker is who? The Lord. Next verse. Through faith, the first woman now, also an elder the first woman through faith Sarah herself received what so how do men receive strength in the kingdom you don't receive strength in the kingdom just by eating a good meal 
although that is important she received strength and conceived seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful now notice that among all these people the common denominator is that they did or said something are we together there was nobody whose testimony was just passive the bible tells us something they did something they said something they did something they said let me say this up front faith is not hearing what god has said faith is fulfilling your own path your own path let's go to verse 17 i want to jump verse 17 are we together by faith abraham now when he was tested did what or tried offered up isaac and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son of whom it was said in isaac shall thy seed be called sacrifice by faith sacrifice by faith now the bible talks of isaac jacob joseph let's go to 23 and look at moses the bible dwells for i don't know why but it seems to me like Moses was the person the Bible dwelt so much in. All of the people who the Bible talked about faith, even Abraham, who we call to be the father of faith, the Bible just spoke about him. But for Moses, the Bible seemed to dwell and talk a lot about Moses, which I found interesting. Let's read on. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was did what? was he three months of his parents because they saw that he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's command you understand the act of faith they put him in a basket and pushed him to the nile trusting god to take care of him next verse then by faith moses when he was come to years refused to be called what refused to be called by faith just like you refuse to be called um, any name that seems derogatory, any name that comes from a background that can destroy you. Oh, you are all the poor ones. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He said by faith, seeing something, he refused. Choosing rather, think about this, to suffer affliction. Listen, there are certain kinds of afflictions that the Bible says you must go through them by faith. It's a choice. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When a lady refuses to say yes to an unbeliever, and instead of marrying two years before that time now remains single because she refused to say yes to an unbeliever by faith waiting for a godly man she believes to be her husband the bible calls it to suffer affliction not every act of faith looks pleasant in the process in fact let me tell you something a major part of the journey of faith will make you look stupid because you are forfeiting we call it in economics opportunity cost you forgo something for the excellency of what is waiting for you than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for what a season 26 esteeming the reproach of christ greater riches than the treasures in egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward and so on and so forth and um let me look for somewhere now i mean the bible talks about him right well let's read let's read really let's read down to um 30 where it goes to joshua now we're reading down to 30 you see how much 
a lot was talked about Moses. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. 28, we are reading down to 30. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed, the destroyer now, the firstborn should touch them. 29. This is the last of the talk about Moses. By faith they passed through the Red Sea. As by dry land. Which the Egyptians are saying to do. The Egyptians tried it but they didn't do it by faith. So they died. Are you seeing now? Now let's talk of the wall of Jericho. Verse 30. By faith the walls of Jericho did what? Not by strength. By faith. We saw them going around. Walking around Jericho. Are you understanding the character of faith already? Every one of these people did something. Whoever tells you faith happens. Without your commitment lied to you. I'm showing you all through. The common denominator to all these things. Is that they believed God and there was a demand on their own part to respond by saying by doing by keeping their own part so their obedience upgraded the promises of god to a covenant the walls of jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days read 31 by faith ah, yeah, yeah. the second woman look at the name the bible calls her now this is interesting why didn't he just say by faith rahab i think we are smart enough to know then he says by faith kalabakata a woman who was a harlot changed her story by faith the harlot rahab perish not with them that believe not meaning she was part of them she was destined to perish please is that true what is the wages of sin help me what is the wages of sin that means there is a system in god where men can change prophecy there is a system in god where men can alter obvious consequences the key is faith if first tells you her credentials she was a harlot do you know what it means to earn a right to stay on a wall so that whoever is passing sees you before even seeing the king? By faith, she changed her report. Everyone died in Jericho except Rahab. Not only did she not die, she forced herself into the genealogy of Jesus. When she had received the spies with peace, and what more can I say? I really wonder. What more do you need to hear? You, you see, I'm understanding what Paul is saying. Paul is saying, if by now you don't see the synergy, what more can I say? He says, for time would do what? To fail me, to talk of others. There were other elders in the Bible. Let's name them. Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, and of David also, and Samuel and of the prophets there were many next verse who did what through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness uh -huh. obtained promises stopped the mouths of lions next verse quench the violence of fire look at that i wonder why nigerian actors have never acted a film this powerful men who did this by faith produce a film and call it by faith exploits in the spirit they escaped the edge of the sword men who looked at death eyeball to eyeball and say you will not kill me and then the bible now says out of weakness were made what men who were born weak but refused that they will not die weak works valiant in fight turn to flight the armies of the aliens then listen to this 
women receive their dead raised back to life and then the bible quickly puts a very strange balance it says and others were tortured not accepting that means they did not die out of the power of death conquering them the bible says they rejected deliverance willingly they discovered in their knowledge of god that to die is gain and they said i can live but let me prove to god how much i trust him and they said it is within my power to command deliverance but i reject it faith it did say they died out of weakness please don't confuse this they died they had do you know there are many people today who died when we get to heaven they will tell you they were offered an opportunity to live but they saw something higher and they said let's go the bible calls it faith now you mourn them and try to look for hilarious stories but they are they have joined those elders it's a list it's a roll call there are many people shortlisting themselves there it says not accepting deliverance that they may do what obtain a better resurrection i'm going somewhere with all this and you will soon see next verse and others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings you are not the first to be laughed at are we together yea moreover of bonds and of imprisonment imprisonment they were stoned and they were sun asunder now you don't like this koinonia is quiet but the bible tells you beforehand that these men had the power they were not helpless bible history makes it look like they were helpless the bible says they they had the power to command deliverance but they saw something higher and by faith they stood they were slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. Of whom the world, there are such men that the world was not worthy of. They walked upon the earth. Have you been given something that you say is a privilege? There are men who they are walking upon the earth, it's a blessing to the earth. The Bible says it's a privilege. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. 39. I want you to read 39 and the next verse, I believe verse 40. Am I, am I right? Yes, 39 and 40. Read it with all your heart and your spirit. Ready? One to read. And these all, uh-huh having obtained a good report through faith receive not what now read on next verse god having provided some better thing for us that they without us there is a dimension of the manifestation of faith that god is trusting our generation to reveal and the bible calls it the perfection of all these elders as great as their exploits are and were the bible says that god had provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect now theologically speaking there's been two schools of thoughts just explaining this scripture a lot of people mean this to be the dispensation of grace because you would notice that all the people who were communicated were largely old testament people are we together now and so the better promises that many people think uh they say that it is because these people suffered in the dispensation of the lord the old testament and now we have access to grace the substitutionary work of christ now that is true but i don't believe that is all are we together that is true but the death of christ in itself afforded us a higher platform to manifest faith are we together mm. an example of such opportunities is the possibility to live by the faith of the son of god now this was a possibility they did not experience but that a man can tap into a higher frequency of faith called the faith 
of the son of god not just your faith the faith of the son of god you can bring god's faith to an operation and get results this is a better promise but that's not what we are talking about i'm showing you men who did strange things through faith and so if you and i must make impact in our generation it will have to be how by faith through faith by faith through faith so how are you going to build that house how are you going to change the story of your family by faith how are you going to get out of that sickness and infirmity please understand what i'm saying there is the chronicles of ordinary men who dare to believe god and change a lot of things so faith is, is, is important to please God and we have a testament of men and women who walked by faith the next thing I want us to look at is the word of God let's look at the word of God being that this is the instrument that produces faith it is important for us to look at the character and i'll be very brief the character of the word of god write this down please the word of god whether spoken or written the word of God whether spoken or written contains the life of God the word of God whether whether spoken or written contains the life of God the word of God whether written or spoken contains the life of God number two write it the word of God is a representation of his commitment to man. The word of God is a representation. I want you to write this. We are looking at the character. A representation of his commitment to man. Like you have a covenant, like you have a contract between two people. So the testament of his commitment to man. Number three. The word of God represents his will for man. Now this is important. We are going to dwell a little here. The word of God represents his will. Comes from the Greek word logos. Where we get the word word. Logos. The thoughts of a man. The will of a man. The intention of a man. So the word of God represents his intention. His will. His will. It's a legal term. His will for man. Number four, the word of God is the basis, the basis for contact with man. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. I'm giving you certain characters of the word of God as far as the manifestation of faith is concerned. The word of God is the basis for contact with man. That means that the Holy Spirit remains helpless until the word of God creates the platform for contact with man. Number five, the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action. The word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action God is moved to the feelings of our infirmities but not to action the word of God is the only instrument capable of moving God to action write this down the word of God contains instructions prophecies promises the word of God contains instructions, 
prophecies promises also contains principles are we getting blessed now please look up everyone please look up now there's been a lot of argument in the body of christ as to whether this should be called the word of god the word bible comes from the word biblios and that just means a book nothing special really it just means a book are we together now theologically speaking for many years in the church age they did not have a compendium of 66 books like this there are other schools of thought that argue how that there are many chapters and verses that are missing in the bible there are many chapters and verses that were added that should not have been in the bible are we together now and how that there are other books of the bible like there are arguments about the apocryphal books the apocrypha the roman catholics use that a lot and then there are other books the books of jasha there are other books called the annals of the kings there is the book of enoch are we together now now all these books together have been argued by theologians some of them believe that it should be contained since the character of scripture is that all scripture was inspired of god are we together and that anything that is of god should give spirit and life so I'm, I'm just giving you an educational background on this so that you will understand so there has been a lot of argument in fact currently um i know that there was a time certain uh, i think a Rab rabbonical association also came up with certain things and they felt that a lot should be edited in scripture now the old testament was written in hebrew say hebrew and uh, the new testament was written largely in greek and aramaic are we together now these people wrote these scriptures but they were not in charge of its translation there's no point to give you the whole story of bible history how that this translation were in bits and pieces some of these pages were missing for many years and then they were found together with what we call the dead sea scrolls and then it was at the time of king james king james he was a real king ancient king called king james not ancient like modern history now king james who authorized the publication of a compendium of these 66 books that we call the bible are we together now so all the 66 books old and new testament together are called now i'm not the point of all of this is not to create a debate about other extra biblical texts or some exaggerations that were done here that's not the idea one thing we know for sure is this listen every man who contributed in the writing of this was imperfect as a person that means if God allowed them to still rob their imperfection it means the mystery is not in the letters are you getting what I'm saying now please you must understand what I'm teaching you we're examining faith Elijah was a temperous man the Bible is a compendium of many things demons spoke in this Bible is that true donkeys spoke in this Bible are we together men spoke in this bible people lied in this bible people use divination in this bible so the fact that it is written here does not automatically mean it is of god you have to get this so when the bible or when we talk about the word of god we are not talking about just the opening of anything because you see we must balance this there are believers who say if you can show me in the bible i will do it that means you are going to get into error the, the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want there are habalists today when you enter their shrine you see other books and you see a very clean bible there are we together and they will read a scripture and instruct you based on that scripture and because it is in the bible you will believe i should walk no so i want us to examine what the word of god is listen to my message uh i think the living logos i done a teaching years ago on that what exactly is the word of god because none of the apostles in the early church in fact even up till um emperor emperor nero constantine and all of these people they never had 
the opportunity to hold the Bible like this. It was a taboo. They were kept in temples. Are we together? And then, of course, when the people of God were caught in different kinds of captivities, they were hidden and taken from place to place to arrive like this as a compendium. A lot happened to them. Are we together? But the Bible says, let the word of Christ, Colossians 3 verse 16, dwell in you richly. So I want to ask you a question. How did the disciples grow in the word? When Jesus resurrected, I want you to go back to the book of Acts. When an average believer got up in the morning, what did he study and how did he study? Are we together? You would only go to the temple. We do it in the Anglican. For those of us who are inclined Anglican and maybe Presbyterians to do this, they have what we call first reading and second reading. Is that true? Where you come up, you read, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And then, you know, that continues. And then there are parts uh, where you recite, you know, the, the Apostles' Creed and so on and so forth like that. Now, other Pentecostal circles do not have the privilege of having that kind of thing. You just come, you preach, and then you end. This was how it was in Jewish temples. The priest, one of the, all of those people, would come up and give you one of the scrolls. They had messages for every time. So you would read it and roll it back and, and keep it. And then they could preach from it, they could speak for it, and, and so on and so forth. Now, if you don't understand this that I'm teaching, three things will happen to you. Number one, you can fall into the error of absorbing the letters blindly and believing that you are growing in the word because you are consuming these letters that's the first error or number two you can just say since this is not the word of god let me throw it away and destroy your spiritual life there are people today now you know i was talking with a few people and they were talking to me and said look the use of iPads, and, and now please, I don't have, if you are using devices here, that's the, the, the goal is not to, to um, um, discredit you on all of that. We're in the 21st century. But I think a, a group of gentlemen were talking to me, and they said, Apostle, what is your take on the use of iPad? As far as the revelation of the word of God, we have is concerned. Because, because our concept of scripture is that I'm holding a book, a man of God even said in Revelations, God told John, write, not type. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, see, personally, I honestly, I honestly believe, see, there's something about holding this thing. There is a chemistry between the letters of this book and your eyes. I, I absolutely believe that. But I don't have a problem. I mean, I have all kinds of things. We use it on our devices, phones, laptops, and, and whatever you have. What is the Word of God? Write this down. Let's define what the Word of God is. Since this is the instrument for producing faith, write this down. The Word of God is any communication. The Word of God is any communication. Or any platform any communication or any platform where the voice of God the ways of God write it down where the voice of God the ways of God and the life of God can be accessed. The word of God is any communication or any platform where the voice of God, please listen, the ways of God and what? The life of God can be, that means what I am speaking to you now, if it contains the voice of God, if it contains, listen, the ways that is the principles of God and if it is capable of releasing the life of God, what is this called? The word of God. Meaning as I'm speaking to you now, what I am saying 
is worthy of being written here the only thing is that i was not part of those who were specifically you know brought together to make the 66 books god's idea is not for us to be limited by 66 books god's idea is that our lives become a continuation of the books that are written here are, are we together so god's ultimate goal is not for you to be sound in scripture but that you become it an expression that's why the bible says we are living epistles say living epistles so that look at how it is if you read something like verily verily i say unto you the words that i speak listen they are spirit and they are life are we together god's idea is not just for me to read it but become that scripture so that whoever does not have an opportunity and left his bible at home can also read it in me are you getting the point so imagine every believer like a page in the scripture releasing certain possibilities men were not supposed to know god just by reading the bible they were supposed to know god by interacting with the church so that way before anybody opens this book you should open the book and say oh so this is an explanation so this attitude is called kindness are you getting what i'm saying ah uh, some of you are lost let's come again i want to deliver you from religion listen 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 the power is not just in cramming scriptures the power is in the words that are written here that the holy spirit can use this word to forge something upon your spirit so that you become an expression of it not just a talker of it and that's where we destroy ourselves the word of god is not greek the word of god is not hebrew listen the word of god is not english the word of god is any platform for accessing him listen if there is a way i can make this become the voice of god and a platform to speak a particular scripture within the period of that miracle this is the word of god How do I teach this now? Help me, Holy Spirit. If I prophesy to you and I say, Hey, Jimmy, may the Lord bless you, and it happens, do you know what why it happened? Because what I have spoken is the word of God, it was a platform where the life of God could flow to him. If I use oil to lay on your head, the oil works because the word of God is on it so the word of god is not the writings about god the writings about god how many of you know granite now this bible is like the granite the real granite do you just eat the thing like that you open it but you cannot access what is inside until you come to it are you getting what i'm saying see brothers and sisters that is why many people read this but they cannot get faith i'm going to show you something how faith comes but we must understand the character and the word of god i read a lot i study the bible but i have the consciousness that i am an expression of the word of god are we together now so when you come to me i don't run and open the bible and say this verse is this verse that uh -uh. that i left my bible at home does not mean the word of god is at home the word of god is living and active it's your bible I'm, I'm teaching you your bible see i'm showing you why we don't get results i can hold this against a witch and put it under my bed and snore myself into a terrible dream are we together i may think that because this was under my pillow it does not have any power in itself the power is released listen when this is studied by faith 
by faith means that you believe that although these are letters the spirit of god can breathe upon this this is what logos you see the word logos and rema that people are speaking rema is not just the revealed word rema is when the breath of the spirit comes upon this letter it's like the breaking of the ground not seed and all of a sudden you can receive it so you don't need to recite the scripture you only need to have the life thereof the recitation of the scripture is to add to your excellence in communication and to strengthen your conviction it is not the recitation in my name they shall cast out devils Jesus did not say if you stand before people the name he said is not Jesus we mentioned Jesus so that they will know that the office we are acting upon is the Christ the name is not Jesus the name is Lord and Lord is a revelation it means absolute master sovereign controller so I look at a spirit I'm not speaking but I'm casting him in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus is not a recitation in the name of J-E-S-U-S -S, be healed no the name of Jesus is an office so whether I am talking or not is still the name of Jesus are you getting what I'm saying now Jesus meets somebody, a madman in Gadara. The demons beg him and beg him and say, don't cast out. What did he say? Go. Now, that word go, you say it and it may not work. Because the go is not just G-O. The go was simply an, a voice activated communicator of the word of God. Whatever he said, even if he said come, they still would have gone. It's not, it's not like they needed intelligent English because they, they spoke good English. The demons say we understand. No. Please don't be excited for nothing. I really want you to get this thing. Are we together? The word of God is not just about your voice. The word of God is about an understanding that makes you become a platform for his life. So as I am walking now, I'm giving the word of God expression. If I happen to open my mouth and speak to you, I have given the word of God more expression. That is the reason why a donkey could still communicate the word of God. That is why handkerchiefs and aprons, they were taken. Could the handkerchief speak? They could not speak, but they were going by the word of God. Jesus sent men in his name. They were not born again, yet they returned with results. They said the demons were subject to us through thy name. Hallelujah. Why do we study the Bible? Write this quickly. We study the Bible for three major reasons. Number one, we study the Bible because contained in the word of God, contained in the Bible as we know. Now I can call it interchangeably the word of God, you understand. The Bible contains the most accurate dealing of God with man. The Bible contains the most accurate dealing of God with man. We study it because it's the most accurate historical compendium of God's dealing with man. There are many history books, but the Bible gives us the most accurate compendium historically speaking of God's dealings with man number two the Bible contains principles promises prophecies from God to man the Bible contains principles promises prophecies from God to man so we study so that we can have an understanding of these things Number three, we study the Bible because it is the only book. We study the Bible because it is the only book 
that can authorize the Holy Spirit to make manifest what is written therein. We study the Bible because it is the only book that can authorize the Spirit of God or the Holy Spirit to make manifest the things that are written therein. No other spirit is legally authorized to manifest everything written here. Now, it does not mean other spirits cannot manifest what is written here. But only the Holy Ghost is authorized to back up, to make manifest. Meaning, listen, listen. Meaning, if I read the Bible and I see by his stripes I am healed. Now, listen. When the word of God contained is released in my spirit. Because of this book is giving me access to that word of God. Now, the Holy Spirit is authorized. To make real that which I have believed from the book. Are you getting what I'm saying now? A time is going to come. Maybe not in this current church age. But a time is going to come. We are not going to read this again. I hope you know. <laughs> yeah. A time will come we will not read this. But we will continue growing in the word. A time is going to come we will not read this again it's not heresy it will not be in this dispensation the book of Revelation ends with the beginning of a new dispensation we do not yet know what will happen therein the same way before our time it was only from Acts chapter 1 you know when the church was born and now our dispensation has had the privilege of access to read this are we together other saints believers still in our dispensation did not read this yet the word of god was mighty in them for instance apollos the bible says he was even mighty in scripture this is where we miss it we read the letters and ben Hadad, the king of syria gathered all the hosts together gather me oh god gather me gather me oh god you see now listen listen that looks very sincere but the word of god is not on that statement i'm being careful so you don't feel offended but it's the truth i want to teach you how faith works do you know for many years i really didn't understand how faith worked until one time I, I took out, I studied almost 11 people, those who represented men of faith, from Bishop Oyedeko to Kenneth Copeland and his wife, to Dr. Frederick Casey Price, to all of the men, hallmarks of faith, E.W. Kenyon. I sat down with these people and I started seeing it. I said, so this is where we're missing it. We recite scriptures and believe that the recitation is where the power is released no sir are we together am i discrediting the reading of the word of god of course not of course not you can see how old this bible is it was not like that something made it so it's called diligence diligence until the bible you you see it i don't know how many times i've laminated this bible again and again I've read it to a point that the pages, I can close my eyes. You say, Matthew, okay, I'm in Isaiah. I wanted to try, you know, I can literally open any page. Everywhere is marked up and down. So I believe it. But I found out that many of us keep accumulating this. And then we wonder why things are not working for us. The word of God is the spirit and the life of God. The spirit and the life of God. The spirit and the life of God. Whether released by the reading of these letters or communicated through the speaking of the Holy Spirit. Faith comes. Now let's discuss faith. We're back to faith. Romans 10, 19. Romans 10, 17. Is God helping us tonight? I'm working this thing with us because I want us to understand faith. We are going to pray. Romans 10, 19. Read it please. 10, 17. One, two, read. Uh-huh. Now, the word hearing. Let me correct two things. The word hearing, the first hearing is a very broad word. 
it does not just mean faith comes by using your ears are we together the word hearing is a very broad word and there are many synonyms you can add to it number one is perception 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 faith comes by perceiving not just hearing with the ear alone like speaking to you physically faith comes by perception because when you read your bible you don't hear anything correct you don't hear what you read like this you can hear through your ears and remember even about hearing the bible says he that has an ear meaning not everybody has this kind of ear are we together so the first hearing there means perception any platform that can create perception it's not just limited to hearing and then the second hearing there means understanding or comprehension i want you to correct that not necessarily in your bible i'm not saying it's wrong so faith comes by perceiving and understanding and that by the word of god that's how faith comes when you just read it and it says hearing and hearing there is a dimension of application it means listening again and again and that can help but the accurate picture is perception and understanding everybody say perception say understanding the second hearing there is understanding understandest what thou readest on that was where the problem was the utopian enoch he was not reading he was reading but understandest what thou readest perception so when i'm studying the word of god the bible now and i'm reading it the moment perception can come out of it the word of god has come into my spirit i don't have to hear now when i'm listening to bible on tape or hearing a preacher teach like this and the word of god comes it is still hearing so when we say hearing i don't just mean your ears your ears your eyes your dreams your visions any platform that can create perception can impart faith mm. listen listen there are people who have had dreams and got up from those dreams are we together and took certain actions those dreams brought solid conviction to their lives i shared with you about the encounter that i had with jesus christ now that encounter is not written in the bible that joshua Selman will have an encounter but in that encounter i told you jesus did not speak to me he never opened his mouth to speak yet he spoke so many things i left that encounter full of faith and stephen full of faith where did he read anything that we see faith there Do not limit your Bible study to just hearing and reading. Any platform that creates the perception of the word can release faith. So the first is perception. The most common platform of perception is hearing your ears because you hear sounds, sounds. So as I'm speaking to you now, if you cover your ears, it's difficult for you to read my lips. Do you know why I'm speaking this to you? How do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith how do the blind deaf and dumb receive faith if someone is blind if someone is deaf if someone is dumb are you saying faith cannot come to him are we together you see people go to crusade grounds completely deaf meaning as a man of god is preaching other people are jumping they themselves are not even following yet at the end they are healed and we are going to be finding out later that their faith healed them so how did it come question two a dead man who cannot breathe cannot talk cannot do anything how does he come back to life what is the principle of resurrection and then how did the bones of elijah not breathing still transfer the anointing to somebody everybody say the word of god that thing you call the bones of elijah was the word of god any platform that can release the life of god thank you jesus
say after me the word of God is not limited to my hearing thank you the word of God is not limited to my hearing alone the word of God can come into my spirit through any mechanism that can create perception and understanding are you getting what I'm saying meaning the word of God can come to you through a Christian music now you are listening to a song play something play what you are playing watch this listen if this guy is anointed hallelujah okay that's all right that's all right thank you look at what this guy is playing play it are you hearing any words english is there hebrew is there your language i want to follow me carefully are we together now but you see the anointing that is released from this i can put the word of god on this sound now and you will see miracles happening are you getting it now <laughs> i can put it by saying then this now the sound that leaves this keyboard does not become an ordinary sound it becomes the word of god why a platform that can release the life of god the power of god are you getting what i'm saying now you will hear it and somebody now will come under the anointing and you are wondering the operation of the word of god this is ordinary keyboard that's how you can be listening to worship in your room and faith is rising you are not exactly reading any scripture per se yet faith is rising because through it the word of god is coming are you getting what i'm saying the word of god the word of god is at work in me the presence of the holy spirit in my life is a sign that i was born of the word if you are not born of the word he cannot come because he comes in response to the word so i am born of the word of god new life is in me so the holy spirit is comfortable to live in me are we together and every time that spirit and life is in me he can release what is being said now i can speak it to happen but i don't have to speak it alone to happen i just need to create a platform for it to happen look let me tell you brothers and sisters if you believe this you will know why we pray for the sick not necessarily having to say be healed you just touch them and you're saying sir you see some somebody who tried to say here this is where the pain is and you are touching his head how does touching the head heal pain at the back is the word of god you are only placing the word of god on them so you have become an expression of the word the word became flesh that's what you have now become so you are not only reading scripture you are the word becoming flesh the word becoming flesh when you play keyboard you transfer the word of god to it this is what is called the ministration of life the ministration of life you are transferring life you are transferring life to that word are, are we together now so when you put the word of god upon this now deliverance begins to happen healings begin to happen a sinner can sit down that's why people come for concerts and at the end of it you make an altar call and they come out you didn't teach john 3 16 but the word of god convicted them because it came from the music i want you to understand faith i really want you to understand faith this may look complicated but as we continue you will see how it ties up it will make your life powerful i don't move around hoping that demons will respond to my quoting of scripture i know a lot of scripture to the glory of god but i am a life-giving spirit i am a life-giving spirit my body has become a communicator of the word of god the spirit and the life of god so if i shake you for instance shake me Femi. if i shake you i release the life and the power of god are you seeing that if i shake you i release the life and the power of god you may be sick i may not know but as soon as i leave you you find out i've been healed now i did not ask you whether you are sick the word of god saw a need and because i have become the word of god it feels it immediately 
are we together say I'm a manifestation of the Word of God please I want you to say it I am a manifestation of the Word of God say this my goal for studying scripture my goal for studying scripture is not just to be learned but to be an expression of the word of god my goal for studying scripture is not just to have head knowledge it's not just to be learned but to be a walking bible so when men look at your life they can read a scripture immediately through your life living epistles we fool ourselves in the body of christ that because we have finished the bible cover to cover and by god's grace i've done this many times so we say i've read the bible cover to cover if i'm a man of god as i'm speaking the bible says blah, blah, blah. And, and once they are talking these spirits are saying my god these guys don't even know what the word of god is we fool ourselves and at the end of it nothing happens are we together and then somebody comes with a saxophone or a guitar and starts playing anywhere you see the manifestation of the power of god the word of god must have preceded it because the holy spirit is not authorized to manifest when the word of god has not gone ahead so when you see the word of god moving when you see the holy spirit moving he's confirming the word confirming the word whether spoken or revealed the manifestation of the word of god the manifestation of the word of god i tell you as i as i speak this thing you see sometimes because we are talking about the word of god and we are dividing it accurately to open up these things the spirit of god let me tell you something about the holy spirit the moment you begin to communicate the word of god very accurately it's like his body is itching him he wants to move he wants to confirm it i'm telling you how to confirm the word it's not holy spirit move move that's not it let the word of god be communicated accurately and it's like it's like he cannot i'm not talking of just shaking under the anointing i'm talking of signs and wonders and miracles you place the word of god upon everything the word of god is on the air the word of god is on your chair everything that can communicate the word of god that's what makes the anointing when the word of god saturates a place the holy spirit follows everywhere the word goes the holy spirit follows everywhere the word goes if the word goes to your kidney he's following it there if the word goes to your academics he's following it there if the word goes to your business you don't get the holy spirit to move outside the word of god is witchcraft so send the word of god and the holy spirit follows the word are we together You send the word of God and the spirit moves in that direction so if I declare that I prophesy to your finances if the Holy Spirit does not back that then it was not the word of God even if I quote scripture are we together so the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is proof that the word of God has been released in a place the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is proof that his word has been released we pride ourselves with theological knowledge we pride ourselves with knowledge of scriptures john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world but it's not the word of god so the holy spirit cannot back it please hear what i'm teaching you the holy spirit only comes to the scene when the word of god is released whether through speaking or through any platform including your body being a manifestation so when you want to see the energy of the spirit released then be sure that what you are speaking or doing is the word of god are you getting what i'm saying now mm. if it's not the word of god you are not going to get the holy spirit there please hear me the degree to which we have seen the miraculous is the extent to which the word of god has come out so you can speak 100 words only 20 of them are the word of god the holy spirit backs only 20 percent of your communication are you getting what i'm saying this is the difference between what we call anointed people they may not have all the verses but their bodies have become greater platforms to release the word of god so the holy spirit in answer to the word confirms them 
Are we together? I'm a carrier of the word of God. Not just by cramming scriptures. I have read it. But the word of God flows through me like water. The spirit and the life of God. I understand the principles. As I walk in the consciousness of that principle. And with the understanding. Every time I utter my word. Or respond in any direction. As the Holy Spirit would direct. That's what we call faith. I will tell you what faith is now. Faith is your response to and from the word of God not just scriptures your response to the word of God so you have to make it be sure that what you are responding to is not just scripture but the word of God and it is called faith and that faith will bring performance more on that next week I'm not talking so much about I need you to understand the word of God so that when we begin to teach on the dynamics the operation of faith you will know why certain things are not happening in our lives our idea of faith largely has been correct assimilation of scripture, correct recitation of the same, and then expectation in hope that something will happen. It will never work that way. Are we together? John 3, 16. For this and that and that and that happened. For we know the grace of our Lord that though he was poor, yet he became rich so that we through his poverty might be, and we wrap it. And we say, Lord, this is your word. Respond and say, no. It is true that I spoke that through the servants. But you are only speaking scripture theologically. Listen, let me tell you. If the word of God was just scripture, then the scribes should be, have been the greatest carriers of the word. They knew the entire Pentateuch of heart. And Jesus looked at them and said, ye are not knowing the scripture. He said, you search the scripture for a thing in them, you will find life and you will not come to me. Listen. If Jesus appears here and somebody is writing a book, the Bible says scripture testified of him. Is that true? Scripture. Listen, if you are writing a book about me and I show up, who is a more authentic medium? Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, the scribes had head knowledge that prophesied about Jesus. When Jesus came, they said, no, Jesus, we don't want you. But we want the scrolls. And he said, you are hypocrites. You read the scrolls, they talk about me. Now you're reading, I am here as the word become flesh. You are rejecting me, yet you are doing Bible study. And Jesus said, you are hypocrites. Are we together? But a woman just ran and said, thou, I mean, blind, but if I may but touch the hem, of who the word of god she perceived she didn't read anywhere but she saw men looking and she said i have heard and something has happened in my spirit i perceive and i understand that this man has power to heal there is nowhere in scripture where she read that you should take a step of faith she created an action based on her perception god honored that action and she was healed i'll teach you that next week don't take action until you perceive and understand the word you will be wasting your time so we take many steps do you know people can come and stand here with their tight frowning no perception no discernment no understanding all these men of god am i sure a jimmy's tie i'm looking at this tie i hope it's not my money that is going to buy another tie and you are there grumbling and arguing and you drop that and the bible says whatever is not of faith is sin now men of god will not tell you that because they need the money so they'll say no problem unbelief or not that's your business just drop it let's use it but i'm telling you the sincere truth it must be by faith so here's what the bible says hebrews 11 verse 6 hebrews 11 verse 6 give it to us please goodness hebrews 11 verse 6 hebrews 11 verse 6 I want us to read it. Now you will understand all that I've taught you. There is a protocol to faith. Ready? One to read. <laughs> but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Full stop. Whoever wants to be a man of faith, what is the first step? It says, for he that comes to God must believe, not his word, 
leave the issue of manifestation you must believe that he exists it your perception must on you must understand the person you are dealing with the integrity of his person and his ability to provide for you number one then number two that he's a rewarder that he's a rewarder there are two things god wants to be known for to release faith one that he exists his existence means a lot because if he exists then he's mighty if he exists then he can hear my god's not dead he's surely alive he's living on the inside roaring like a lion there's a song like that have you read have you listened to that song do you believe god is alive i know you will say yes your life does not show it are we together because if you believe it will compel you to take action look at me listen do you believe there is water on this table do you believe do you believe now you can come and carry it do you believe there is water on this table yes you will not come and carry it because you consider it to be a waste of time so do you believe there is god yes so you can relate to him this is why people do not pray they don't believe god is alive let me tell you the truth the revelation behind the life of prayer is not religious struggles it's not an attempt to compete with people i pray for eight hours you pray for six hours all that is junk prayer is predicated upon an understanding that unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come after the service people are going to be waiting here queuing right to the back because you believe i'm not going what if i just i use style and just run out if i do that for three weeks you will stop standing here because it's a sign that you doubt my ability the first doubt of believers is not even in the power of god to produce that result it's even his existence i know you think this thing i'm telling you is powerful the word of god is guiding us here do you believe god exists it's a very big deal i've given my life to him no problem do you believe he exists he's alive he's alive sing it he's alive He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Forever he's alive. Amen. Do you know why every time you visit a herbalist, you must live with a charm? You don't visit whether that charm is a goat or is something you must live with. We call them tokens tokens are representations of the existence of something are we together so you go to him i must marry that man put him in a bottle for me and then they carry his picture throw it in a bottle and lock it correct and give you say hide it somewhere for as long let me tell you the devil does not need that bottle he needs your faith and since your faith must be tied on something he gave you a bottle let me tell you why it still works even if you are born again you are born again because although you are born again you truly still you have tasted of the power of that charm something in you still tells you it's working so it continues working the day a higher revelation and a higher anointing contents it stops working a man of God one time was hungry and was passing and he saw a chicken that they had slaughtered for sacrifice he carried the chicken and roasted it and ate do you know why he never believed that that thing can do anything to him he said they shall take up poison who the believers believers in God not in miracles you believe in miracles but do you believe in God we are talking about knowing that God exists you know joshua selman exists but do you believe he exists let me tell you something you are a hypocrite if you claim to believe what is written here and don't believe the one who wrote it are we together 
Oh, I believe all things are mine. Do you believe the God who said it? Lord, I don't believe in you, but I believe in what you said. Does that make sense? You don't believe in me, but you believe in what I said. No. Me and what I have said are one. My word is my bond. My word represents me when I'm not there. You can take my word to represent me. If I, listen, Sam, if you are dedicating an album and I stand before Koinonia, listen to me, and I say, Joshua Selman, on behalf of myself, I give you one million naira. What is that? That's my word. Now, during, if you go somewhere and you are doing your calculations, you will calculate and say, one million naira is coming from Apostle. Have I given you the one million? But you know me. You believe in me. It's up to you now to believe I can deliver it. Let me tell you what you do. You will first size me. And look at me. Can Apostle really bring out one million naira? Are we together? So when you ascertain that I am able to do it, number two, am I willing? When you ascertain that, you say, I believe it. So when God says, I will bless you, your own belief sizes him and says, no, God, you are great. But this triplets you are talking about, don't, don't joke with us. So the cure is not just action. The action part is hard. We are coming to that. But if you act upon something you don't believe, it's a waste. If you believe in something and don't act, it's also a waste. Are you seeing how we are cleaning it up? But we are starting tonight with the understanding of God, His word, His integrity. Say, I believe in God. Shout it, I believe in God. I believe He is alive. I believe He exists. That's why I love the Apostles' Creed. The Anglicans recite it all the time. Right? I love it so much because it's an encapsulation. It's called, it's, it's like a statement of faith. Sometimes you need to recite what you really believe. I believe my business can rise. I believe my life can do this. I believe my wife can get pregnant. That's wonderful. But do you believe in God? There is no guarantee in scripture that if you believe those things, they will happen. He that believeth on me. John 12, 14. Please give it to us. We'll find somewhere and pray now. John 12, 14. John 12, 14. The son of the living God himself speaking. John 12, 14. John 14, 12. John 14, 12. John 14, 12. Thank you. Read it please everyone. One, two, read. stop it is important who you believe not just that you believe who you believe jesus never said if you believe on things you believe that things that will happen they will happen he says verily verily i say unto you he that believe on what on me i want your faith to be directed to me not my works not my works i believe all things are possible but the reason why I believe all things are possible is because of him that can make them possible. The end of your faith should be tied to a person and his integrity, not the things he can do. Restful confidence. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And what? Greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. Do you believe in him? Do you believe he exists? Sister, listen to me. You, it's impossible to believe that fibroid will leave you until you believe in who the healer is. Are you getting what I'm saying? Man of God, I believe my ministry will be great. You are joking. You are just playing games. But I know whom I have believed. And so I am persuaded in his ability that he is able. The first thing is to believe the person then i am persuaded we leave the person and we believe in the ability and the things that will happen and we never get results he say is i see this happen all the time innocent people 
not taking out time do you know this is why intimacy is important with god intimacy does not help you believe things intimacy gives you an encounter an encounter furnishes the reality of god in you so that whatever he says is as good as him so you can believe jesus son of god i believe in you i believe in you we call you a messiah jesus son of god i believe time from your heart yeah. Jesus God of God I believe in you I believe in you so when I lock up myself I carry my Bible I set an atmosphere that brings an in presence of God and when I lie down and open my Bible number one I am not reading for preaching emoji I'm not reading for preaching I'm not reading for recitation John chapter 1 verse 5 in this and that and that and, and with no 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 I'm looking at it Jesus said if you believe in me and I sit down there Holy Ghost help me believe this truth Jesus said his presence is there Jesus said and in my mind I'm looking at people gathered for miracle service they don't know me maybe they are discussing among themselves where is the man and the man is there walking on his faith Lord I know you are able I don't know what I'm going to see here but I believe in you there is no assurance anywhere physically but I believe in you and when I step and come right here and sit down the moment the worship team finishes do you know what I tell the Holy Spirit every time I say let's go it's time to go and do this as I climb this stage I'm an ordinary man but not alone he's standing by my side and so I can speak and make every audacious statement. And because of what is coming, listen, let me tell you, I believe in Jesus. I really believe in him. When he tells me something, I don't doubt. You will always doubt God till you encounter him. It's not the issue of I'm trying. Now, let me tell you, watch this. The body of Christ has fabricated a formula that if not careful, it will be our carnal attempt to recite and to 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 um, replace encounters is the concept a false concept of recitation of scriptures listen what we call confession comes from the word homologio meaning speak that which has been said i believe that there is a step to that but let me tell you what many people do we think that we just get up and start speaking I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I won't hear anything. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. And you said, I said it hundred times. Listen, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I hope you understand. I'm just trying to correct us because we will soon get frustrated with all those things. I'm blessed, I'm blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to my mind. No, listen, your mind was designed to submit. Your mind is not that rebellious. It was designed to submit. You have not created the condition for it to submit. The Bible says, casting down every yetzah, every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Your mind can submit. The mistake that we make is that we don't take our time to meditate. Lord, this shall not happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. But it's happening. It can't happen. In the name of Jesus, it can't happen. It can't happen. Me, God forbid, I must carry my child. I'm carrying my miracle baby. Now, that is good. I don't have a problem with that confession. But what is the revelation behind it? What is the revelation that sponsors that thing? What you are speaking is not the word of God. What you are speaking is emotion. What you are speaking is fear. I can guarantee you most of what we do is a reaction to fear. It's just a spiritual reaction to fear or a spiritualized reaction to fear. Because, listen, if you are speaking right now and they tell you your registration date is closing now for whatever, maybe a job, you need 100,000. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I call forth helpers. They are coming. Hey, they are coming. Oh, oh God, they are coming. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. 
let me show you that it's not just faith it's fear they were praying for the apostles to be released from prison in the book of acts they were praying and asking that god will send angels god now sent the angels peter came out and they opened the door saw peter shot him back and kept praying that's what many of us do are we together no i can't find my wallet i'm a tighter what is this i'm a tighter i dropped my tight in koinonia oh god i'm a, I'm a tighter at least it's better than nothing but i'm teaching you restful confidence say restful confidence If you are to be honest, you will know his fear. I notice the loudest prayer in Koinonia is against the spirit of death and the calling of destiny helpers. I have noticed it personally that every time I say everybody stand up and you know sometimes you can lead it seriously. Be serious. I mean when we say go is like an arrow. All kinds of Where are your destiny helpers? Ah! Oh, where are they praise the Lord can you get to a point where when you speak you speak based on conviction when you say I shall not die you are not helping yourself believe an encounter has furnished a reality in your life and it's on the strength of that reality you say i shall not die how many of you pray to sit down on your chair how many how many of you prayed to sit down okay you need okay praise the lord are you hearing what i'm saying how many of you when you came through perception and understanding you knew that there are laws that were created by god to keep this chair who among you is sitting down now and say oh lord i really believe you ah no this chair you can't disgrace me now now does that mean you are not a believer for keeping quiet that's how restful your life should be you can sit down inside fire and you only talk when necessary because there is something you know are you hearing what i'm saying please I, I want you to believe what i'm teaching you otherwise this series is a waste i'm taking out time to pound on this because i want you to believe god you step in and somebody looks at you and says i'm your grandmother go and ask about the people i have killed i vow that you will not see december this year it's a vow i vow that you will not see december this year you now go back lord is this how i'm going to go what did i do who did i offend let me tell you what most believers will say god forbid then later they will sleep and say kai hi now let me tell you that woman herself is even afraid of you she's but because she gave an attitude and said i dare you she left you with an attitude you too you claim to have the attitude but there was no restful confidence after a while you say apostle um, I don't know. I don't mind. I don't be. It's not me. But I'm just telling you so that you will pray for me. It's still fear. It's still fear. The same way an intelligent student writes an exam, he knows what he wrote, and they'll just look and say, "Do you know only four people passed?" The student may just feel an inkling of fear, but the student knows that even if it's one student that passed, I am the one. Now he's not boasting out of nothing he knows what he read he understood it he cross-checked the question after the exam and he was absolutely satisfied it's called restful confidence the other person who does not really know what he did is now hoping that's why when he sees ah finally 
have you seen the best student lord i'm grateful i give you all the praise but i expected it this is how your life must be that you know god sister you are 34 you are not going to marry and all of a sudden you start going and say talk mountain to mountain valley to valley everywhere you start running all around and you just fidget there are many of us the moment somebody speaks to you someone holds your hand and says for sinner i had a vision in that vision i saw cats eating you up for sinner does not sleep for one week are you getting what i'm saying now i will tell you what the problem is the problem is not the vision the problem is not whether it's true or false the problem is you if I look at you now and say, for sinner, you're a man, will you pray about it? I'll tell you why. It's not just because God told you you're a man. There are too many things that have happened in your life to convince you beyond imagination. You don't just believe you're a woman. You don't just trust you're a woman. You know you're a woman. Notice the progression. I'm believing God. I trust God. I know my God. I know Him. I know him God it doesn't look like him I know him when can you say you know him that's what Moses knew he knew his ways though he slay me yet will I praise him because I know him I know him I'm trusting God to get to a point in my life where I don't just jack up my faith trying to believe God 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 oh Lord I believe in you oh Lord I... no, no 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 at that point you will move mountains you will join these elders brothers and sisters mountains will stand before you people will even pity you their eyes because they think you are dead at the end of it they will not see the mountain again and they'll see you shaking yourself that's how great people live in this life this ministry you have seen is here by faith by faith by faith by faith I've come to a point where I'm not trying to believe God I really trust him faith is based on the speaking of God trust is based on your experience with God you have had an experience with God there is a track record of his credibility so you can trust yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies we need to begin to walk by faith there are too many things in our lives that attempt to challenge our trust in God. But you must get to a point where you say, from today, I walk by faith. And the first encounter is to make the word of God real in your life. Look at me. The greatest investment you can make in your life is not having an education. The greatest investment you can make in your life is not just having good friends. The greatest investment you can make in your life is to make your life saturated with the word of God where you take the word of God as a project you have given yourself a basis for true faith because there are mountains to cross I like that Don Muen song though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song will be singing forever holy is the lord holy is the lord. let's take that part again though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. listen koinonia i speak to you you are not the first to go through challenges there are men on earth who have crossed this river they have crossed the river of barrenness they turn barrenness to triplets are we together there are men who turn being a pauper not affording 10 naira 
to giving billions to nations there are men of god who turn two members to nations you are not the first there are those who overrode the mockery of men it's time for you to leave the level you are in this life of pity oh god won't you show up for me no sir he will show up when you are ready though we are few you're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song that we'll be singing forever oh, oh, oh. Listen. so God puts his word upon your life Femi you will be great he will never do any other thing until you do something with the word you can sit there forever and die a failure it does not mean he lied the word of God does not act on itself by the time you look at your life my father is not doing well my mother is not doing well I came from a village please listen I am one of 17 children I am even the second to the last born. I am 35 years old. I've not done anything meaningful. You look at all of this and God says, if you believe me, God never gave men instructions until he revealed himself to them. The first assignment was to reveal himself to Abraham, revealed himself to Moses. Then he now sent them. They, every time they wanted to disobey, they remembered him. They remembered him the same way somebody want to tell you look there's one there's somebody that I saw in whatsapp I spoke with him and he said he's looking for a wife and the way you have been desperately looking for a husband or a wife I think I can do a range for you and he said no problem God works in many ways I believe but that is not faith it's unbelief are we together listen make up your mind today that you will never take any action in unbelief until you stay and believe god this is why people who rush through things in life suffer they rush to start business they rush to marry they rush to enter a relationship they rush to do this do you know why when challenges push you you will not just look at what you are looking at you have to look at god you have to go back and say lord i know you all you spoke you said koinonia will rise you said you will give us a voice i believe you many graduates are holding their certificates roaming around the streets in nigeria angry the same people can bring notes for you when they were in 200 level they said god told me i will be great fast forward many years they are now holding they were never believing in god they were believing in that certificate they were just hoping that God was the certificate now that they've held the certificate they are moving around and you are asking them where were your visions where were your dreams you said God gave you courage God told you you will never fail brothers and sisters what has God told you leave what he has told you and focus on him the one who spoke I'm reintroducing to you today a God who is dependable I'm reintroducing to you today a God who had parted the sea this Bible is a chronicle of his ability a chronicle of his integrity so that you will believe him away with all those talk we have mocked God we have cursed God because of our challenges I know there are challenges I never said there would not be that's why I read you Hebrews 11 but I want to see your reaction show me your reaction under fire and I show you whether you know God or not show me your reaction when things are not happening and I can tell you whether you know God though he slay me will I be honest if I say I do not know him I know him I know him he is dependable if I die today without a miracle I still know him that's what made the people in Hebrews 11 they knew him so much they rejected deliverance listen listen imagine for instance that God gives you two options in life just imagine 
and God says you will go through a season with me for six years and you will become so mighty or you will go through a season for one year you will start moving fast but you will not become as mighty as six years let me tell you what many of us will choose a bed in hand is what 20 in the bush oh god thank you for giving me this one year i can i can pay the price but there are those who know god and say lord even if it's 10 years let's go because one step in faith will give you 20 years worth of miracle one step in faith one step in faith have you not seen how god wiped the tears of people and changed the lives of people overnight men who trusted god koinonia i'm introducing to you a god you need to know before you start claiming to believe his word you must have an encounter with this god you must create the atmosphere for his word to be real in your life let it not just be talk 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 cheap talk talk no sir anything god cannot give me no man would claim to say he can give me anything god cannot give me that's why i can look at any man and say thank you for your open door but go with it god did not open that door and i will not go back to sleep and regret i believe god brothers and sisters look at me i have gone through mountains and valleys in my life make no mistakes about it don't you think i'm just talking to you from a standpoint of comfort i have gone through things that very few people can go through and survive i know that god is mighty by and large in life everything you trust will fail you and a time will come you will no longer hold on to things but a person pastors have called me man of god i've listened to your messages but nothing is working in my ministry and the first question i ask them is are you sure you are called and they say yes i said if you believe you are called did you hear what god told you they say yes i say stay there stay at the last instruction he gave you and die there there's a song that says i will be a good soldier he says i will die at my post if he does not shift a post let me die there i will survive the mockery i will survive the ridicule i don't have to be under pressure to explain things to people no it's not like this actually it's, it's, it's god that told me you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him you will never believe him until you encounter him koinonia please hear me faith the foundation of faith is an encounter with god an experience that furnishes the reality of him there are real mountains you will face you will face all kinds of mountains even the most trusted people in your life cannot take his place a time will come you will have to stand alone and say lord jesus i trust you i trust you though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Though we are few, though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Singing forever. Say faithful is the Lord. Faithful is yes, the Lord. Yes, I want you to fall in love with your Bible tonight. Listen, please. Listen. Listen. Please listen to me. 
I know you have books in your library. Listen to me, please. I know you have books in your library. I know you have DVDs. I know you have CDs. But I bring you to a point tonight where you eat this word till something leaves it and enters your spirit. I have in my phone a compendium of the words of Jesus. Only the words of Jesus spoken. Only everything Jesus ever said in the Bible. Only it. I listen to it every time. I love the words of Jesus. I listen to it sometimes. I let it run for hours as I sleep. And I have encounters. I wake up under certain intense dimensions. I know something happened. I don't need to know what happened. I know something happened. Are we together? I know that something happened to me. An encounter. I'm a very busy person. Just returned from a trip today. Tomorrow we're off for another one. You know, Eddie was driving me. We're coming from the bank and he asked me a question. He said, Apostle, do you ever rest? I may live a busy life, but not too busy for this. This is the most accurate picture, compendium of the dealings of God with men. I don't read, I read my Bible emotionally. I don't read my Bible intellectually. When I look at it, I see myself. If it be thou, bid me come. I, I, I replace Peter and I stand there. I look at all the challenges that are before me. There's a peace in my heart. In spite of all the darkness that surrounds me. And this peace that I know only comes alive every time i hear your voice there's a light in my soul in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice listen Brothers and sisters, I want you to hear me. If you do not come to a point of restful confidence through the word, you will shake like a leaf at life. At a point in time, you will feel like dying. That's what makes people commit suicide. They get to a point in their lives where they move left, there is no way out. They move right, they are pressed to the core. And they think the only way is to drink, to smoke, or get a gun and blow themselves this word can minister the life of god to you this is ordinary scripture but the moment you begin to read it believing that out of it will come the word of god i assure you you will see miracles in your life and ministry sister i'm prophesying to you it's not over i don't know who said it's over but you take this bible and recreate your future you have been predicting it by wishful thinking now create it through the power of the word you have been predicting it just by hoping hope is important it make it not a shame but let me tell you the truth if you must walk in any reality in your life you are going to have to create it i believe the word of god i know whom i have believed i have not followed cunningly devised fables i believe him it's time for every word that proceeds from your mouth to be a communication of faith. Don't speak until you believe. We having the same spirit of faith. It's called the operation of faith. We having the same spirit, operation of faith, as it is written, I have believed and so I spoke. I did not speak to believe. I spoke because I have believed. You don't speak to believe. You have an encounter to believe. Then you speak because you have believed. This is Bible faith. Time will fill me of Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith, Koinonia, please listen. They built houses by faith. Some of us have come where God has brought us today. It is by grace. 
through faith by grace through faith by grace but through faith it is not just by grace through wishing by grace through crossing your legs and hoping that because it's by grace it will happen you will never see any result there are two prayer points we're going to pray now and we're done for this night next week I don't want you to miss it I'm going to be teaching you the dynamics of faith how faith really works we're going to look at this thing in depth how do I translate desires to manifestations rise up on your feet we will rise in your name Adonai you reign on high we will rise in your name Adonai you reign on high and I will rise in your name Adonai you reign on high let your first prayer point tonight be a prayer of thanksgiving. Lord, thank you for showing me what I've been missing. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, thank you for showing me tonight that faith is not just wishful thinking. Faith is not just mental asset. Faith is not just memory of scripture. Although that is important. Faith is not just Bible study for a historical advantage. Lord, I thank you. Shabrata rato sobrekete. Ela kaparata kato shodo bregede balara 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 bal. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I like you to cry and say, Father, an addiction for Scripture plant it in me. Listen, listen. There are some of us here as I'm speaking for one month for two months you have not you have not opened this Bible you have opened it in koinonia listen but to settle down some of us used to be really serious with studying the Bible you just give God 15 minutes just rush it no 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 listen the goal is not to read the Bible every day the goal is to be consistent life will not afford you there are very few people except those who use devotionals there are very few people that can really afford to read the bible every day five o'clock to six it's a worthy habit but not everybody will have that are we together there are many leaders who don't study the bible i'm a leader i know how hard it is to work with those routines i'm a leader i'm a man of god many men of god will lie to you it's not every morning that i get up i read my bible no that would be a big lie many people will lie to you no you can't do that you can't do that 5 30 we're out of this town to catch up with a the flight there may not be time i may barely even have the time to sleep i may just get up and rush and take my bath but one thing i can tell you when the bible says when you see the bible put an emphasis the key is consistency the key is not religion you can develop a habit that will make you consistent like a devotional like creating a time morning in the afternoon or in the evening or any of them but brothers and sisters if you want to grow in faith you are going to have to embrace your bible and give god time so i like you to pray and say lord grace to give you time in my life lift your voice grace to give you time grace to give you time grace to give you time not to rush around my life that I will seek you with all my heart I will search for you and I will find you I will find you with all my heart I will lift my hands to you and worship I will worship 
with all my heart I will search for you and I will find you I will find you with all my heart I will leave my voice to you in worship I will worship Lord, I give you time. This is my busy life. Do something upon my life. Let me be a student of the Bible. Let me give time. Knowing that my faith. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. Not a godfather, not a godmother. All I need is you, Lord. The fountain of favor, the fountain of wisdom. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. Help me encounter you. to talk about this but we are going to pray it all the same listen to me we are praying we are rounding up you cannot obey God until you know his will are you hearing me I will shift that to next week discerning the will of God but for now let me just tell you something there are two dimensions to the will of God there is his written will and there is his revealed will his written will is that which he has allowed to be written in scripture a communication of his desire it is it is not matured in the spirit to ask whether God wants you rich or God wants you alive there are scriptures that already show you it is his will Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the thoughts I think towards you said the Lord thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future so asking oh God do you want a good life for me it's not a wise prayer but there are certain dimensions of his will that must be revealed next week I'm going to teach you how to access the revealed will of God it is not written here that Femi should be based in Zaria it is not written that Sam should be in London. 
are we together it is not written here that a jimmy should marry hope it is not written here that eddie should be a protocol in koinonia but you will need let me tell you something one of the areas where people have marked time in their life they want to obey but the will the will the will i have studied this and i'm still studying it the ability to access the revealed will of god because if you act in disobedience it is still unbelief you have acted your action must be based on a knowledge of the will of god we're going to take off from there so i'd like you to pray one prayer with all your heart and say lord everywhere i'm still in confusion as to your will for my life accurate clarity reveal to me lift your voice and pray koinonia pray every gray area threatening my confidence every gray area threatening my confidence every gray area reveal your will reveal your will reveal your will reveal your will make it clear make it clear make it clear so that i will run without confusion hallelujah listen listen every time you turn in the day of battle it is because you are in doubt of god's presence and god's will are we together the moment you are certain if someone comes to there and says joshua selman koinonia is not the will of god i'm not even going to pray about it my god there is a depth of certainty do you have that kind of certainty for your life if no stop running are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you by this message tonight you should mark time a while this rush is too fast there are some of us by this teaching just peg yourself and say the month of october is the month of discernment the month of clarification and the month of certainty tell yourself i'm not crossing october with these myriads of doubts in my life i am tired of believing god today it's like this is my husband but next week i'm in doubt again it's like this is my wife but next week i'm in doubt it's like god wants me to do this business but i'm in doubt it's like i i it's like i had it's like i had i had katsina i was even excited but now i've come back katsina we're back to sender it's like uh -uh, uh -uh. your faith will not be grounded that way open my ears to hear you and lord any confirmation it takes to make me know it is you give it to me lift your voice and pray these are simple but powerful prayer points any confirmation about your will Absolute clarity. Absolute clarity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I remember years ago, there are many people I see today who I remember when you would ask them when they were students, what will you do, be doing with your life? They say, serving God to the ends of the earth. They thought they were clear right now. Ask them, what are you doing with your life? 
It's your boy, Kai. He said, I thought I had this. He said, I did leave all that one. We were children. That's why now that we're adults, let's face the reality. Let me tell you, when a man's life is like that, please hear me. Between now and next Friday, you should be able, am I going to be a man of God? Am I going to be a businessman? Am I a civil servant? Are we together? This issue of allowing life to choose for you will shred your life into pieces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please keep it down. And lift your voice and everything you do not want to see in your life. Begin to release it to leave you right now. Before we pray, everything, everything, everything you are tired of seeing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Expect to be healed. Expect to be delivered. Let me tell you something. Deliverance is very powerful when it is done scripturally and is done biblically because it's a separation between men and the forces that cause their problems. There are forces that are responsible for the problems, the challenges in people's lives. There are, there are forces. There are forces. And in a few minutes from now, we are going to begin to pray. I tell you, fire will burn in this place. Fire will burn in this place. And no devil will be able to stand. There are people whose lives must change. That's why we came. That's why we came. That's why we came. That's why we came. One more prayer point and I'll begin to minister. Every spirit responsible for my pain, you are under arrest tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Every spirit. Every spirit responsible for my failures, responsible for the limitation in my life. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everybody. Don't say anything, just lift your hands. Please, everybody, if you can. If you, if you are doing something that doesn't allow you, that's all right. But please lift your hand. Don't allow the devil cheat you in this time, please. Don't allow the devil cheat you. When you hear me ministry, minister like this, is because I'm under the anointing of the Spirit. These are not things I'm doing of my own accord. It is the foolishness of spiritual things that produce results. Keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. The first set of people that God will step into right now are people that God is breaking. I'm seeing, I'm seeing God break delay. I'm seeing chains on people's legs. And the Lord said, just lift your hands and he will locate them by himself. So keep your hands up. Father, I have done what you have told me to do right now inside and outside right now right now inside and outside i stretch my hands bring them out right now everyone whose feet has been chained i unloose those chains now i untie those chains now
I untie those chains right now bring them out the second overflow God is touching a lady so dramatically delay 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 you can't stand the anointing tonight you can't stand the anointing tonight oh there is grace in this house to challenge every altar of delay that has tied down the lives and the destinies of people you must go forward you must go forward you must go forward you must go forward it's time to move forward it's time to move forward keep your hands lifted I'm seeing altars on fire and the Lord said it belongs to families Lord where are the families right now right now let the fire of God locate them right now where are these families I stand by this anointing and I command everywhere across this building every family under the siege of witchcraft every family under the siege of witchcraft fire comes upon that altar fire comes upon that altar God is saving people right now the power of the Holy Ghost is at work in this place. You can't be the same. You can't be the same. Hallelujah. Keep your hands down. God is doing a quick work. Only ladies, lift your hands. Only ladies, lift your hands. Please lift your hands. Ladies represent gates in the spirit. And there are destinies whose gates have been closed. Right now I'm about to speak. In the name of Jesus. Upon every lady here. Upon every lady here. Who the gate has been closed. I command right now be open be open be open many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now sisters you represent gates 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 young and old young and old may those gates be open now may those gates be open now may those gates be open now May those gates be open now. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Shalabaru de koratia. Lift your hands. The Lord is showing me something very... I prayed about this in one miracle service. There are people here whose destinies have been exchanged for others. I pray right now, wherever they are, at least 40 people, 40 people, wherever they are right now, I command a reversal. I command a reversal. Fire, fire, fire falls upon people fire every destiny that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit every destiny that has been exchanged in the name of jesus 
every load you are carrying that is not yours in the name of Jesus it returns back to the sender every high thing must come down every strong bone shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every strong bone shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome hallelujah I tell you miracles are happening here mighty mighty miracles mighty miracles mighty miracles all those out here all the spirits tying down your destinies at the count of three this is miracle service they live now. I speak in the realm of the spirit. One, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out of them. Go forever. Release their destinies. Chains be broken. Release their destinies. Come down, and strong all shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. No spirit will hide today. The power of God is strong in this place to bring strange visitations. Lift your hands, everyone. There are men. It's not just that you are delayed. You are not even moving at all. I want to pray. And the prayer I'm praying now is an unction that will begin to move people forward. An unction that will begin to move people forward. But first, the strong man that has kept families down must be dislodged. Lift your hands. I pray right now. Whoever is under the influence of any spirit and any power that is causing any retrogression, and non-progress right now as i pray fire comes upon them in the name of jesus inside and outside take the fire now take the fire now take the fire now hallelujah 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 i'm seeing someone they brought here i don't know if the person has a mental problem or is mad is there someone like that there's someone they brought like a mental problem mad a mad person where is the person bring the person it's time for a miracle this is a mad person Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You wear the crown. You wear the crown. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You wear the crown. You wear the crown. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a man that they brought here. It's like he has a problem walking very well. Is there someone like that? It's like he has a problem walking very well. A man, I don't know if there's pains or is that he cannot walk completely. Is there such a person, please? We have to hurry up. I want us to finish in good time. Is there such a person? Hold on. Let me just, is there such a person?
outside he can't walk he can't walk he's paralyzed huh what who brought him come come quickly please what's the situation what's the situation Listen, sir. it's as loud as you can Joseph recent last week I visited him then at Kano with his wife and they informed us in the village that he's paralyzed this man is a policeman is he a policeman no we I'm seeing his cardigan for, from Kano so we okay. the, the custom I'm seeing him where okay the custom what's wrong with him now now can you hear me? You can hear you, sir, boy. Can okay. you and you Look to... at me. Can you hear me? No, no, hold on. Can you hear me? Where are you from? Yeah, from Kano, sir. Kano, you yes. came from Kano? Yes, sir. Look at me, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. Since when could he not walk? Wife, come, please. Husband for how long? This is almost a month now. But the leg is just two weeks now. The legs is two weeks. Yes. It's okay. I'm seeing stroke in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The first miracle is for him to hear what I'm saying. Something has affected his mind. He cannot even hear. Huh? He can't even talk. He can't hear. He can't talk. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that deaf and dumb spirit to leave you. To leave you. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Can you hear how, sir? Huh? Look at me. Can you look at me? Try to move your legs. Can you? Can you try to move your legs? Can you try to do what I'm doing? Try to move your legs. Talk to him that I want to pray for him. Who is this? That's all that is. Why are they here? Hold on, please. Uh, 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 uh. Let please only the case I call. Don't just we are going to pray for people. What's wrong? What's wrong? This lady is mad. Yes. Since he, when? Yes. Yeah. Who knows you, madam? Are, are you in Zaria here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Her case is mental. Now I started the the sudden for hospital. Now the the, the like epilepsy it is like epilepsy so it affected her brain you can imagine hold my hands father i command that spirit to leave mad spirit go now you will let this girl go in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ out of her now out Jesus. Just lie her down. She's going to get up. Sir, I'm, I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing witchcraft because I'm looking at a man who is already dead. Not even that he's dying. Somebody that they've already killed. He's already dead. Get a chair and keep him. Let him sit down and you pray. What you guys will do is just try to talk to him. I need him to hear what I'm saying because I want him to lift his leg. Can he see me? Madam, you are his wife. You will, you will help us, eh? And be talking to him. Give him a seat, please, so that we don't waste time. Daddy, you're welcome, sir. From where, sir? What's the issue? Who brought him out? I, I came with my neighbors. What's the issue, sir? Okay, is the mic working? Is the mic working, Lawrence? His mic. Sir, can you hear me? I can hear Please you. come. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a problem. Um, have you gone to the hospital, sir? You've gone to the hospital. Yeah, I've gone to the Who hospital. has glaucoma? 
It's me. You, you are yes. the one who has glaucoma. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a writing on your head and it's written glaucoma. Yes, sir. That you have glaucoma. Yes, sir. This problem started like eye problem. Yes, sir. Then it moved to your hands. Yes, and now it's on your leg. Yes, sir. And it's like stroke. Yes, you will be healed right now. Amen. The Lord Amen. himself is going to perfect Amen. you. Amen. Daddy, hold this mic. Shout, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare now, now stroke, stroke leave my life. Leave my life. Blindness, blindness leave my life. Leave my life. Now, now in Jesus' name. In Jesus Please come name. up and jump. Come, come up. Come up. Come up. Go ahead. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Come. Walk. also has an eye condition. Please look, sir. Can you see people? I can see people. Could you see them before? Yeah, but I can't recognize them. You can't recognize them. But now, can you recognize them? I can see them, but not fully recognition. Sir? No full recognition. No full recognition. The Lord has started something in his life. He could not, I mean, glaucoma and then down to stroke. You can see him still limping. Daddy, in the name of Jesus, you came with somebody. Where's the person? Who came with him? You are wearing a white scarf on your head. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Come. You are the one. Is this your father? No, sir. My neighbor. Your what? My neighbor. Oh, daddy, she's your neighbor. We are going to pray. And then God will bless you a thousand times. I'm going to pray for you. Daddy, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of the enemy. The power of the enemy. Over my life. Over my life. Will not die. Will not die be made whole right now in the name of Jesus. Please exercise yourself and go in your liberty. The Lord perfects your body in the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, I'm going to pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Help her, please. In the name of Jesus. How can a, a lady like this, planning her life like any other person, now this girl is mad. You look at this. This is real madness. It's not like it's a child's play. Eh? She came back from the office on Monday, then she started the attack. She came back from the office she mad. Said, yeah. You see, let me tell you, look at this. It's one thing to leave your house quietly. The Bible says there are arrows. She came back from the office where? On Monday. And then I heard just, can you imagine? You got up and went to work and came back mad. This is the world we live in. Are we together now? Let me tell you, wickedness is very, 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 very real. Very real very real mama that woman in on yellow please come i don't know you but the lord is saying that your joy needs to be restored one two why am i seeing you there's a line between you and that lady with red this one holding your hands what is the relationship between two of you come my friend she's your friend you came together yes. i'm seeing a light left you and to her and then the lord is saying i should pray for you because it's the same thing two of you are going through we have to pray for you number one your joy your joy needs to be restored and then number two your health you are feeling pain in your stomach i have to pray for you so that they will tell you five Carriage. words mm -hmm, madam let me talk to you now did you tell me miscarriage mm -hmm. because i'm seeing something growing huh and it's paining you and this thing will make you to be bleeding unusually it's fibroid you are bleeding unusually and this thing is not just miscarriage because for the miscarriage a man appears to you in the night and once you see that man the next thing is you have miscarriage but we are going to pray madam can i pray for you where are you from ben benway ben, boy, I stay in Zara. you stay in daraka let me pray for you madam the Lord needs to restore your joy because there are things I cannot say here but one of your major requests is the fruit of the womb is that true the fruit of the womb and I see you even praying that if possible let God give you twins yes sir is that true yes sir. and you are asking that the Lord will give you twins yes, sir. and I'm going to pray for you 
because those twins will pray that God will give Amen. it to you. You believe it? I'm not a herbalist. Lay your hands on your stomach. We have to pray. There's a man that appears to you. This is demonic. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant, I set you free from all this nonsense around your life. In the name of Jesus. Ma, I pray for you. You desire children. God will not just give you children. May he give you twins. In the name of Jesus. And that formation of fibroid in your body, we cause it right now. You are feeling like fire is moving around your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ. A supernatural miracle for you. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Ah. You're not married. Are you married? Um, because I, I wanted to pray the same thing and the Holy Ghost is telling me you are not married, but you are about to marry. There's somebody in your life. He has engaged you. Eh? Is that true? Yes, sir. Who is the person? He has engaged. Is that true? You are engaged to marry. Yes, so I have to pray for you. Hi. My sister, don't be offended though. There's serious witchcraft in your family. I'm seeing this witchcraft coming from where is Otuko? In eh? Benue State. What do you have to do with Otuko? There is one of my uncle there. But me, I'm from Otuka. Mm -mm. Just answer what I'm telling you. What do you have to do with Otuko? Who is there? He's my uncle. Father, in the name of Jesus, your marriage will be successful. Look at me. I don't know how you do this, but don't allow them to do anything on you that is demonic in the name of marriage. I'm seeing something that has to do with you and a tree. Just, I don't know what I'm saying, but be careful. In the name of excitement of traditional marriage, they initiate people into nonsense and rubbish. I pray that the Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Please lift your hands. I want to pray. Um... God wants to do a very spectacular miracle in this place right now. There is someone here you completely cannot see with your right eye. Completely cannot see with your right eye. But a miracle is going to happen right now. Completely cannot see with your right eye. Wherever that person is in the name of Jesus, I command that you begin to see with that eye now. I command that you begin to see with that eye now. I command that you begin to see with that eye now. Please check yourself very quickly. Check yourself very quickly. While we are doing that, there are, there are a number of people and when I pray for you, if you get healed and, you, and you, you find out that you are in that category, just come out quickly. Let's save time. I want to pray for people right now. I'm seeing people who have been having severe pain around the chest region. Like your heart. Yes, some of you, when you wake up in the morning, severe pain severe pain the lord is healing those people right now right now please check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here there is a miracle happening to somebody right now check yourself severe pain are along the heart region miracles are happening right now right now as i speak only those who are healed of this miracle make your way to the front i see a miracle happening to somebody right now make your way to the front celebrate them they are coming celebrate them they are coming jesus is touching people your chest i see a miracle around the heart region very quickly please save our time jesus is killing people right now Pinonia, is this how you celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles the chest area Power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Check it right now. Is there any pain? Is there any pain? Like, look at the boy, he's even crying. How long? Quickly, just testify one minute quickly. Turn face the crowd quickly. Like, it's okay, you don't have to cry. Up to more than four years. The pain comes when I'm breathing. When you are breathing, you feel the pain. 
Uh, right now, check it. Do what you couldn't do. Completely, no pain. In the name of Jesus, that miracle never returns to you again. Mama, any pain? Let's take a few testimonies. No pain. Completely. How long has it been? It has been there for years. For more than five, three. More than five years. Yes. Please check it now. We want you to confirm. Look at this. Look at this completely. The pain is gone. The anointing is even on her. Help her, please. Help her. How long, my dear? Please, those who have been healed, just come here quickly. We'll give you some. Just turn, face the crowd very quickly. Organize yourselves, please. Ushers, help them. How long has it been? What's your name and how long? About two years ago. How is the pain like? What is describing for us very quickly? I Don't worry. She's, she's after, just here. Be after patient. I eat, after I eat food. Uh -huh. then, I then you'll chest. be struggling your chest. Is, it, is there pain now? Is there pain? Check it. Make sure you are telling the truth. If you lie, we'll clap for you, but you are the one who will suffer. Praise God. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. All of you, all of you healed of that pain. Lift your hands. Let me pray for all of you right now. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracle. It never returns. 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 Give Jesus praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. My goodness. I just saw a spectacular miracle in the realm of the spirit. There is someone here who has just been healed of pile. Please check it. I want you to come and testify. You will be very surprised. Pile has just been healed right now. Right now, supernaturally. Pile has been healed. Please, if you can check yourself, I would like you to check yourself. Let someone check you so that it is not a lie. Pile with intense pain. And God is healing that person right now. Check yourself. And when you check yourself, please let me have the person come forward. And then we'll come and testify. And God will give you a dramatic, dramatic, dramatic miracle. Pile, make sure you check and let the person come out. In the name of Jesus. There is a lady at Overflow 2. Not the first one, the other Overflow. Um, your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. Please, if there is such a lady like that, can you quickly run before we start ministering to cast out every devil and pray for the sick god is touching people please the person with pile go and check yourself a lady with the name blessing you are wearing white white jack like sweater is there somebody like that blessing outside overflow too where is she coming from please always confirm where are you coming from the other overflow what's your name blessing where's where are you from hold my hands God is going to give you a miracle and he's also delivering your family. Your family needs deliverance. Huh? Your family needs deliverance. Hold my hands. For God to have located you is because he loves you. Be set free right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm hearing the name of someone and you are my namesake. Your name is Joshua. You are outside. Please come in. You are outside come in god is bringing deliverance to this lady and her family in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ a supernatural miracle god is bringing deliverance for her family they will never be the same there are four of you that are supposed to be here with this name four of you please stand here all of you hallelujah i'm going to pray for you come god is going to use you huh god is going to use you mightily i'm going to pray for you my friend you you love god but god needs to help you huh do you hear how sir kajiko you have bad friends we are going to pray for you huh in the name of jesus sir look at me god is going to help you who is a trader in your family mother eh? my mother what does she trade my mother God wants to change her story. Amen. Hold my hands. 
you are going to start having strange revelations and an anointing is going to come upon your life right as i'm speaking to you now an angel of the lord you will feel something like a crown being put on your head is a mantle it doesn't mean you should just go and start ministry but it's to tell you that god will use you very mightily father confirm your word in his life you will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ tell your mother that a prophecy has come for the family that god is about to lift the family are you hearing what i'm saying and you look like an ordinary person but you are going to hold a lot of money in your hand there is an unction there is grace for finances upon you there is grace for finances upon you where's Ejimi, please he's going to go let him lay his hands on you there's grace for finances that will come upon you and it will never be the same i have to pray for you you love god but you are in here you are out here you have bad friends come follow me your friends are not good people where are you where are you you are in samaru here yes sir huh yes sir you love god yes sir is it too much of a price to leave your bad friends it's too much ah father in the name of jesus christ i pray because god wants to use you as a savior to your family are we together but you see hold on please let me talk to you if you really want to be great in life it doesn't matter whether you grew up with the same people you must have the courage to tell some people i love you i'm not i don't have a problem with you but since you are not just going my direction let me tell you you can't play games with god and 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 you, this, god is not a herbalist that you pray abracatabra with if you are serious with god then go for him are we together i love you and in the name of jesus christ i pray that every spirit of rebellion will live your life in the name of jesus there is hmm, this is this is I don't know why God is giving me this kind of instructions here. Please don't feel embarrassed. There are two boys and one lady. Two gentlemen and one lady here. You need to be prayed for. You have an uncontrollable appetite for stealing. Please don't be embarrassed. Ordinarily, I will not ask you to go out. There are two of them it's not like you're a bad person anything you see you must carry one lady and two guys please come out we're just going to give one minute there are so many things we need to do this is a revelation god is giving me please this is a family of faith we are not saying you're a thief but this has brought so much trouble to you please whether you are inside or outside don't be embarrassed there is a lady in this list and there are two gentlemen wherever you are please as you hear the word of the lord make your way to the front you need to be delivered you have tried to stop using willpower it's an addiction you don't use willpower to end supernatural things make your way to the front and i'll be glad to pray with you make your way there's somebody like that i'm i want to pray for this guy but god is saying i should wait for that case there's somebody like that let's celebrate him you are the one there's one more gentleman and a lady one more gentleman and a lady please there's nothing to be ashamed of this is a family of faith please very quickly just one minute there's there's so many other things we have to do sata stealing no matter what happens you can't stop it where's the other brother please don't delay us it doesn't take time to know you have this problem because it's a challenge that you've been trying to solve let me tell you something you see ba these things are spirits it's not whether you are a thief or not if it comes upon you it will make you act that way you may not even use what you are carrying but you will still carry it anyway please where is the last person don't delay us let's pray come let me pray for you before i pray for them the last person quickly summon the courage to come and join them very quickly so that i can minister to you the lord will anoint you the lord is saying i should tell you he's restoring your family huh where are you from i don't know why god is visiting benway states today where are you from from benway states god is visiting benway people in very strange ways it's like the miracle service is for benway people 
Benway people. There's a lady self from Benway who is going to be under the anointing now. As a testament of this thing I'm saying. Hi. This God. I don't know. I don't know. This, this is my God. Make sure she's from Benway. Where is she from? No, 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 no. Don't, don't worry. Don't feel embarrassed. My dear, I love you and I'm very proud of you. Right? Look at me. Kinjiko, come. You love God, but there's one boy around you. Send him a text this night that Joshua Selman said he should never come around you again. Hmm? Don't feel bad. This, this, I'm not, I don't hate people, but number one, this boy is a, is a small boy. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Two, um, please, there are things I cannot say here. Huh? Are you ready for a child now? Huh? Yes. She's saying yes. Uh, no. Okay, well, who knows? I mean, Mary was 14 years when she had Jesus. So, please, but on a, on a serious note, huh? you love God. You are a serious lady, but... There's something on you that makes bad boys. Bad boys. The moment they see you, you look at them, you look at their eye, you know that they are not serious Christians and they keep coming to you. But there's one that's been disturbing you. Send him a text and say, Joshua Selman said, please, please. He, he should come for, bring him for Koinonia next week. Let God help him. Yes, instead of driving him, let God help him. Are we together? So I'm going to pray for you. Listen. There are many more people who are bigger thieves that have refused to come out. Are we together? So don't ever be embarrassed. You see, when you ever point one finger at people, make sure that others, be sure that others are pointing at you. I want to pray for you so that you'll be free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Where is our Benway lady? Careful, please bring her. I want to use her to speak a prophetic word. There was a time it was Kogi, right? Remember. So today God has decided, hold my hands. No, 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 the other hand. I want to pray. Watch what happens now. It's called signs and wonders. These ones are not miracles. They are signs and wonders. They are faith boosters. The Lord is with this lady visiting Benway people right now. Visiting Benway people right now. Right now. God is visiting Benway people. Those altars now. Now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Every territory of Benway that has tied the lives of people down. I hold this lady as a point of contact. Inside and outside. The anointing of God will fish them out by power. Shake it, take it, bakata. Embrekete, lekete. I command those altars. Those altars. You come under siege tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. Listen. You will watch all these people come to testify. They may not even know what is happening to them. You are not just falling for nothing. And you don't even have to fall. For it to show that something is happening in your life. But there are visitations that God is giving people. Grace in your life and your family. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I command that spirit to leave you forever. No appetite for stealing. Not only is God delivering you from stealing, lust leaves you now. In the name of Jesus. Every lust leaves you now in the name of Jesus. My brother... I command a miracle for you right now. Give me your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody here. You stole fuel. 
you stole fuel and this thing brought a problem but you kept quiet it's a spirit god wants to set you free please don't feel embarrassed fuel like um fuel pms i don't know if it's you know fuel for something i don't know what it's for but you you found yourself stealing that fuel to do something with it i don't know what it's for please i want to pray for you because the person you took that thing from pronounced a curse are we together please that's why i want to pray for you we have to pray right now and then I'll, I'll minister to the sick please if there is such a person i want you to come out or maybe someone you know there's nothing to be embarrassed about you're seeing us praying for people you stole fuel it may not be that you are a bad person you see fundamentally people are not bad situations pressures and spirits make people act in certain ways that may look disdainful and embarrassing you must be spiritual to be able to love people in spite of their flaws are we together there's somebody like that oh there's somebody like that the holy ghost is still speaking to me there's somebody like that please have the courage to come forward as we begin to pray don't meet me after the service please there is grace and unction to pray for you right now this has to do with fuel that you carried i don't know whether you sold it or you gave it to someone or something like that but then we have to pray for you 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 everyone lift your voice no god is saying i should stop till the person comes out who is the person please my brother look at me i'm not i'm not i'm not um, embarrassing you right is the flesh that causes this embarrassment but you see when god shines light on you it's not unto condemnation are we together he said he who does not have sin should cast the first stone so we're not people who come and embarrass people and condemn them the person you took the foil put a curse upon you and the cause is that nothing you enter will stay in your hand and that's what i want to take away from your life that's why i brought you out are we together now in the name of jesus christ it took a man to pronounce this curse be free now by the power of the holy ghost i command that it leaves you forever 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 i take away that pronouncement from your life in the name of jesus you love the lord with all your heart and you walk in his ways god bless you please stand up and go hallelujah i'm about to minister to the sick right now very quickly and while i do, you can you can just bring the lady to the front i'm still praying for her hallelujah sister talk to her sister my dear look at me look at me how are you how are you are you fine what's wrong with you you don't know that's how she has been oh that's how she behaves she hears you she actually hears you when you speak but she won't be able to respond do you know why she's not wicked she's under bondage and we're going to pray for her right there's a reason why i ask you to keep her here i keep laying my hands on her from work she came back i'm praying i don't know who did this thing but in the name of jesus as he's leaving you it will land on that person's head <laughs> some of you don't like the prayer i'm praying i say it again whoever brought this it must land on the head of the person it's because they didn't do it to your sister or to your brother that's why you leave your office and return mad what if she's the breadwinner of her family that whole family has come under siege let me pray before we let me prophesy to you before we pray in the name of jesus any human agent who has partnered with the realm of the spirit to bring the pain in your life i pray this night is a night of judgment for them this night is a night of judgment for them i say it again this night is a night of judgment for them this night is a night of judgment i command judgment for them i command judgment for them shake it judgment for them judgment for them, judgment for them. any human agent i say it responsible for your pain i command judgment for them
while we ask the sick people to come out please if you came here trusting god for healing now is your moment while they are doing that please let's have all the prayer requests just something has happened to her just carry her and put her aside somewhere make your way to the front quickly please organize yourself now is the time for healing very quickly while they are doing that please all of you write your request listen hold on please i allow you to switch off your switch on your phones if you need to and call your loved ones to forward their request for you please you can type it quickly and send it here it's not enough that you've written your request please if you even know the requests of some others you can write it and put their names because we are going to pray for those requests hallelujah you move mountains you cause walls to fall help me you perform miracles there is nothing Standing here only because you one more time. Do you move mountains? You cause walks to fall with your power. You perform me there is nothing. That's impossible. Worship team, you are going to help us. Look how many people have come to be healed. I thank God because God has found a place where he can communicate his healing power to his people. Now, we are going to be very, very fast. This is not for the rest of us to be distracted. Everyone, you should be writing your prayer request and you should be praying. Because after this session, there is going to be a massive impartation. There is, there is need for grace and unction for us. And so we're going to pray. Hey, Jimmy, please come help me. We're going to be praying for the sick. Please, listen. It doesn't matter who prays for you, whether myself or hey, Jimmy, there's a corporate anointing, okay? So we're praying for you. Um, the moment they pray for you, don't leave one line and come and join another one. Just a touch. You don't even have to say what is wrong with you. If we ask you, that's all right. If we don't, please. If there's a prophetic word you will be giving if you are not giving any word some of you when i touch you you now get angry because i didn't prophesy look let me tell you something this thing you don't do it just the way you want to do at least not for me are we together so it has if there is no word for you just believe and then when hands are laid on you don't just go back to your seat smiling check yourself do what you couldn't do before if you have to go to the hospital then you should go to the hospital for test are we together and if there are still people sitting down and not coming out because of the crowd please make sure you join them there is a reason why we lay hands like this i don't do this in other meetings but then so that we can make contact worship team help us do the best you can god bless you father let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ hold on hold on please how many months pregnant are you eight months we have to pray i'm seeing them cutting you cs but we have to pray for you they gave me the list they gave you the list yes, yes. do you believe god can turn things around yes. cry there is a god that we serve immediately i looked at you i saw them cutting you with a knife huh don't cry i don't know what the doctor said but in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus there will be a miracle for you the baby will adjust to his normal position and he will come out the way he should come out like the hebrew women in the name of jesus christ a supernatural miracle is happening to you right now in the name of jesus god bless you go ahead god bless you when i pray for you go back to your seat in the name of jesus christ be healed right now now standing here not knowing how we'll get through the 
sisters a miracle for you in the name but holding on to faith you know best in the name of Jesus healing for you nothing can catch you by surprise you got this figured out and you're watching us now and when it looks as if we can win, you wrap the in your arms and step in, and everything we need you supply. You've got this in control. Now we know that you made a way. When a box were against the wall And it looked as if it was over You, you made a way And we're standing here Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough You, you came for it, breakthrough way. You are entering the realm of breakthrough Supernatural breakthrough yeah. Not just healing but breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost, I open the doors right now in the name of Jesus. And we're standing Out. 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 only because you made And we're standing here Carry the baby, please. only because you made And we're standing here only because please. you if someone, made If someone is backing a baby as they are laying hands on the person, ushers, please help so that you move the mountains. Uh -huh. Lord, you move the mountains. Lord, you move the mountains. Lord, you move the mountains. Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. The meeting is still on. In the name of Jesus. I declare that every power that wants to stop my testimony, the Lord rebuke you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You are doing yourself good when you are praying. You are doing yourself good when you are praying. You must testify. They're singing that every power, every I thing must come down. So you pray. Let her go now. Out! 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 Go! Are you praying?
my turn to testify in this season and every power that will stop me from testifying I come against it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus come on shout it inside and outside in the name of Jesus every legal access that the devil has over my life and over my family by the blood of Jesus that access is broken lift your voice and pray 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 every access please make sure you are praying this is part of the meeting every legal access the devil has over my life by the blood of the eternal covenant by that which Christ has done on the cross I come against it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. My door to the next level. Hear the word of the Lord. Be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Command that door to open. The access point to the next level of my life and destiny. I command you to be open. I command you to be open. Revelation 3 verse 8. I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Are you praying? your hands on this prayer request lord it must be turned to a testimony lift your voice and pray i'm praying on your request there is a covenant of answered prayer in this house we invoke that covenant my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing which is gone from from my lips Shake it, 
Shekete pus, mambo koto patata, rekete teke kete, ebro soto prekete. Lord, have respect for the covenant in this house. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Supernatural miracles. Breakthroughs. 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 Shebo koto prekete. Ekete koto shoto koto. Mata papa kata rekete. Rekoto so prekete kete kete. Miracles of God. Miracles of God. Hallelujah. Join me, shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus. Is that the best in the name of Jesus? The Bible says, Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every request that has been dropped before the God of heaven, we turn it into a testimony now. We turn it into a testimony now. Be turned into a testimony now. Be turned into a testimony now. Between now and the next miracle service, strange answers, strange answers, strange answers, strange answers. The way I'm walking upon this prophetically, in the name of Jesus, that's how you will walk upon every challenge. I step upon it prophetically. Everything that has mocked God, as I step upon it, as help them please, as I step upon it by prophecy, I decree in the name of Jesus that that's how you rise above the challenges. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. There will be a drastic impartation here right now. Just five minutes and we are done. Drastic impartation. Listen. The anointing that is coming upon you is an anointing upon your gift. It's time for what you carry to speak. Lift your hands, everyone. In the name that is above all names. At the count of three. My God, a massive impartation. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Receive that impartation. Upon your gift. That impartation. All over this building. Is yours for the taking. It's yours for the taking. Produce results. Produce results. Produce results. Hallelujah. Listen. The unction for supernatural results. In the name of Jesus. That your results are not ordinary. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office. And I command at the count of three. Let it fall like rain supernatural results one two get ready three take it take it take it take it supernatural ministry supernatural business supernatural family oh, oh, oh. help me Of results you have not seen in your life your business and your ministry I prophesy to you go and produce that result from today go and produce that result from today from today I prophesy it I program it upon your spirit go and catch fire
whatever has refused to work in your life you have tried and tried and it has refused to work by this unction tonight we force it to work in the name of Jesus hear me all those trusting God for jobs you have done everything you know to do the door is not opening in the name that is above all names go and get your miracle job go and get your miracle job go and get your miracle job every family going through stress and tension you don't even know what to do i pray right now the force responsible for the pain in your family tonight judgment upon them judgment upon them judgment upon them judgment upon them hear me every idea every concept you need to rise to the next level of your life i pray for you in your dream in your sleep through visions may those ideas be revealed to you help them please i want to pray for students now the kind of exams you have never written in your life the kind of cgpa the kind of breakthrough take it now take it now take it now take it now help them take it now take it now hear me every spirit that makes you blank when you are writing exams it comes under fire now it comes under fire now whoever is holding your breakthrough the key to the next level of your life in the name of jesus between now and the next miracle service they must look for you i prophesy it they must look for you hear me you will not look for them they will find their way and look for you i pray for you everyone here who has developed his gift what you need is for god to send those who have what it takes to honor it i pray for you listen hear me there is a way you can preach before men who don't need your grace they will rubbish your ministry and make you look like an idiot there is a way you do business in the presence of those who don't even have what it takes to value what you carry but i'm praying for you there is an unction that directs men only to those who can pay for what they carry rabbi help him help him help him help him help him help him in the name of jesus that grace may that anointing direct you right now right now right now right now right now right now everything that has refused to grow here whatever god has given you that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names i command it to grow now i command it to grow now i command it to grow now let me speak over your finances many of you have given many of you have sown seeds but the harvest is being trapped somewhere i pray for you the force that releases the harvest of men i command that force to be at work for you now 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 hallelujah whatever 
covers your glory for men to see and bless you you are walking physically but it's ikabo the glory is covered as a young lady you are beautiful but there's nobody to say i want to marry you i command that fail covering your glory be open now be open now be open now be open now arise shine arise shine arise shine hallelujah two more prophetic words and we're done it says and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying this is the way in this season you need direction everything is not the way to go hear me please hear me there are people right now your bailout is to know what God wants you to do that he told you to do it yesterday does not mean he's still saying do it you need a fresh instruction I open your spiritual ears your sense of perception your sense of perception your sense of discernment be open now be open now finally I pray for you everything that is upon this ministry is supposed to show in your life so if there is honor honor is when God positions men who discern what you represent and openly celebrate it it's called honor honor is not something you lobby for it's not a political position he said you shall call the sons of Aaron and you shall take some of your honor and give them Joshua sorry I want to pray for you listen do you know what honor is let me tell you the truth honor is better than money money can give you things but it may not give you honor honor is when men can rise up and fight for you because they want to preserve what you represent it's called honor he says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren there are people who do not have honor in their life let me tell you how you know there is no honor in your life there is no helper honor is when men can stand before you and say before you touch him you must touch us honor when a ministry does not have honor you beg for everything you pay for everything you explain everything honor is when men god puts men at the gates to plead your cause you are there praying and somebody is clearing any bad air about you any bad impression about your ministry there is always a voice to say no the hand of god is upon them it's called honor i pray for you what has made you fight alone when things go wrong you explain alone nobody to help you listen this is not about prosperity this is about the ministry of men i have seen this in my life there is such a thing called the gift of men where God will raise men strangely everywhere you go that there must always be a man to advocate for you it's an unction otherwise whenever things go well or go wrong you pay for it by yourself whether things go bad or things go well you pay for it it's because that honor is not there are we together? lift your hands i want to pray for you receive that prayer from the depth of your spirit because it will change your life the grace that god has put by covenant upon this house he said that i he entered a covenant with david that there will never be a man the throne will never lack a man i pray for you at every point of your life those who must arise for you i bring them into your life through the mantle of honor through the mantle of honor may that anointing come upon you now let it come upon you now in your going out in your coming in be honored 
be honored. Listen, everywhere you enter, that grace that distinguishes men, let it come upon you. Hallelujah. Jesus will bless you. Jesus will lift up your name. Jesus will lift up your name. Jesus will lift up your name. Give us five minutes, please, everyone. No moving around. There are people here who need to give their lives to Christ. Hear me. The Bible says that this is a testimony that God has given us eternal life and that this life is in his son. Please pay attention, concentrate, no moving around. It says he that has the son has eternal life. There are two groups of people right now. I want you to rush out here quickly. Those who have never committed their hearts to Jesus. You have never at any point in your life surrendered totally. I don't care how many times you have come for altar call. You have not made a genuine decision for Jesus. Number two, there are those who have given their lives to Christ. But the pressures and the vicissitudes of life have pushed you to a point where you have derailed in your walk with God. And you are saying, man of God, I need restoration. Wherever you are, please don't waste our time. Our time is gone. The Lord is calling you right now. And I want you to make a genuine commitment. Rise up and walk to the front right now. Rise up and walk to the front right now. Inside and outside. God bless you. People are coming. God bless you. People are coming. Please clear the way for them run like there's fire on the mountain in all the overflows all those following us online you may not be able to come out but prepare your heart to make this prayer with us god bless you god bless you god bless you go ahead and say today is the day i will make a decision for jesus there are still people god is asking to come out don't be ashamed make your way to the front no matter what you have done there is a new beginning for you you deserving of more. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so much for answering this call i'd like you to lift your right hand to heaven if you are still joining them please make your way it's not too late we're not reciting a poem this is a serious prayer that will determine your eternal destiny say after me very clearly say lord jesus those online followers say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me and you shed your blood for my sin this night I accept you as my savior and I receive eternal life into my spirit the power of sin and Satan is broken over my life forever from today I'm a child of God I'm saved I'm born again in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for this ones nobody can come except you draw them I pray that this that they have done as simple as it looks. Oh God, I pray that this will be the reason for them to not only spend their eternal destiny with you, but to live victorious lives here on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power of the flesh of sin of Satan is broken over your life. From today, you move forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for making this most noble prayer. I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details and they will, will communicate you in due course. God bless you. Appreciate them coming on here very quickly. Christ, we hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul. Spirit, we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching this from, 
I believe you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain